Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get AJ Striker's crate drop in the game Infectious Smile. You can see right there it says slay or infect three to earn the box. So it, you start out, uh, you might not be the infected. If you are, you can go and get a bat and you can try to hit the infected and you can try to kill them. That will give you points. Or if you are infected, go and try to infect people who are not infected. Basically, all you have to do is just do that. Keep playing the game and eventually you'll get three kills of infected people or you'll get three infections of normal people. And and uh, eventually, when you do that, you may not even realize when you've done that. If you can get people to work together in a VIP server, that of course helps. This does actually work in a VIP server. So if you can get people to cooperate, uh, that's always helpful. Again, if you've got friends uh, to do that. But uh, you might break the bat over and over. So you're going to have to keep going back to that weapons area. Get another bat. Go back to the weapons area. Get another bat right here. Getting another bat because they break eventually. And eventually, as you're swinging and, uh, and you eventually kill, enough of these guys then this will drop in front of you you will see the crate and you will see the badge on the bottom right confirming that you've got aj's crate hey guys i'm going to show you how to get aj's crate drop in the game rage table arena so when you start you talk to this guy stewart he doesn't know what's going on with the metaverse stuff it confuses him but he says striker called and he wants you to get 10 knockouts and then you'll get the reward okay so striker called and he wants you to knock somebody out 10 times so you go in this game all you have to do is on the bottom there's tables and when you uh equip the tables you throw a table but if you hit someone with the table it will actually uh throw them back and if you hit them and it throws them back and it knocks them out you can see on the top there it says knockout so you want to get 10 of these knockouts now if you can get some friends to help you out uh that's a good way to do it it does work in vip servers that we found out so if you got two friends working together it doesn't really take too long sometimes you can buy special weapons that you've got on the bottom sometimes other people have certain weapons i've got this star creator one that the dev gave to star creators which is pretty cool uh it seems to toast the people pretty fast but after you've got your ninth you get your tenth knockout you can see it says mission complete you've got aj's crate and you can see on the bottom right you've got the bad Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get AJ's crate drop in the game Sinking Ship. So when you start the game, it says right there, uh, he's lost his blue chest somewhere in the ship and he needs you to find it for him. So he's at the bridge and look right here. So these spots correspond to where it is in the, in the ship. So right here, the bridge is actually towards the front of this one. So it makes it a little harder if it sinks in the front, then you don't have much time after you get it. So if you can, hopefully you're going to be able to find the crate close to where he is i recommend try to go down and try to stay just kind of in a close area like around the stairs and hopefully you'll be able to go into a room that's close by and you'll be able to find the crate the crate is hidden around the ship in all sorts of different areas there's various types of ships various types of hiding spots so i would recommend just check all the spots around the ship as much as you can and try to find the crate before uh, the the whole ship goes down and before you can not get back to aj as well so you need to find the crate and then you need to return it to AJ without the ship going down. So to see what the crate looks like, here is an example. Here is one place that it's hiding. When you see it, pretty easy to see it. You hold down the E button and you put it on your back. Now the trick is to get back to the bridge where AJ is. So uh, in this particular instance, my ship has sunk or the front part of the of the ship has gone down and i can't get back to the bridge so you're gonna have to make sure you find the crate quick enough uh, hopefully it'll spawn in a spot that's close to AJ and you get right back up to it But this one may take a couple of attempts may take a few tries may get a little frustrating for you And you may give up on that on this one um, I, I totally understand if you do that one because it's just a sinking boat basically That's really all that it is So uh, yeah, go ahead find this and then bring it back to AJ and then you will get this crate and this bad Hey guys, we're gonna show you how to get AJ strikers crate drop in the game super golf So uh, obviously I'm speeding it forward a lot if you get it vip server you can go in there just pick the game islands if you guys can uh the round the match everything what you got to do you just have to play through nine holes of the game islands so you have to get all the way through it i'm not sure if you have to like get every single one in you just have to get through the game holes one through nine now if you join the game part way through i think it'll still give it to you at the end uh but i would say just try to get through a full nine holes of this round the islands look ahead before you shoot um, some of those things are uh, moving around and it's really easy to fall into the water So just kind of keep an eye out and it doesn't really matter what score you get You don't have to win. You don't have to do awesome You just have to go through the nine holes and then after you go through the nine holes after you get the final one You can see on the bottom right of your screen It will say unlocked AJ strikers week three badge So you've got the badge and you should have the crate in your inventory as well 
Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get AJ Striker's Crate Drop in the game Weapons Kit. So uh, when you start out, there's a splash screen that says you have to get first through third place in the game in order to get it. So you just start out the game. If the server is small, then of course, if there's just three people, top three are going to get it. So you guys are just going to do fine. Uh, it works in a VIP server as well. So if you work with friends or if you want to help some people out uh, then and plan on who's going to get it, then you can do that as well. Otherwise, just go into a public server, run around, do your first person shooting work and shoot people and try to get in the top three. So uh, if you guys are pretty good at first person shooters, then it shouldn't be too hard to do this one. Uh, and of course, like I said, working with friends is always a good way to do that like this and any other events. So it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward and uh, might take a little bit of time if you're having a hard time or you're in a server with people who are doing a really good job. But uh, here we go, just kind of watch what I'm doing, go along and shoot people, try to get in the top three. You can see uh, on the top right, it shows the leaderboard. You can see who is number one, who is number two, and who is number three on the top. And then the two people under that. And those guys at the very end when it runs out are going to get the badge uh, right here. The countdown timer at the top. When it stops, you can see on the bottom right, if you're in the top three winners, then you will have the badge. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get AJ Striker's Crate Drop in the game Zombie Task Force. So first thing you want to do, you can see in the game it says complete story mode in Urban Falls and East Bay Port. So this is just one of those zombie shoot 'em up games. You have to go through certain waves and I'm just going to show you how to get started with the story mode. So once you do the daily claiming of all that stuff, you come over here and it says play multiplayer. So uh, multiplayer, come over here, create squad, and then the beginning. So chapter one is Urban Falls, chapter two is east bay port so all you have to do is do that story mode and i would recommend just do it easy because it's obviously much easier uh once you get into a game you can have some friends in there with you we're gonna speed up this part because it's pretty simple straightforward just the same sort of thing you've got waves of zombies coming at you you want to shoot them so just kind of follow the directions we go and handle these zombies as they come at you at the different waves and then we'll show you how to set up for the second part and we'll show you the second map as well So as you finish up, you know, they may get past one th one or two barriers, but then you got the boss. But now we're going to do chapter two, East Bay Port. We're going to do this one again, story mode. We're going to go to easy and then go and click on start. You can do this in a VIP server and then you can have friends join you and they can be in your game with you. So after you do that, you just click on start and then we're going to get started with the next round. Okay, so the second one, very similar to the first, you got zombies coming out of different spaces, and as you progress, you get access to different areas, and as you go through those different areas, you just kill more zombies. Each of these pr should probably take you about 12 or 13 minutes to go through all waves, so uh, overall, you know, this one may take you about a half hour to get the whole thing completely done, but it's really easy. It's not too hard. Of course, I've got it on easy mode, so that's probably making it easier, so uh, just keep going through, and just like the first round uh the first chapter we go through and we just shoot, shoot zombies as they come at us and we are trying to protect certain areas and uh barriers so make sure you're kind of paying attention to where you have to go because sometimes you have to climb around and go to different spots that you've already been to or run to a different part of the map to get to where the zombies are at
All right, now at the end, all you have to do is kill off the last bits of zombies, and then it says mission complete, and you can see on the bottom right that you've got yourself all of the badges for this event. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get AJ's crate drop in the game Bacon. So if you click on the metaverse event thing here in the beginning, there is a cutscene with a very creepy dude. It's the Sandman, and he's got AJ Striker trapped. So he's going to go over a little bit of a spiel for you, and he's going to tell you to collect all four of his metaverse crystals and then bring them back to him. So his metaverse crystals are scattered throughout different chapters in this game so you click on play and right here in the voting you can see chapter one is the blue crystal chapter two is the green crystal chapter seven has the pink crystal and chapter nine has the yellow crystal so you have to go through and you have to find the crystals for each of these each of these colors and after you get those you don't have to actually survive and escape the map but usually the crystals are somewhere where you have to at least make your way part way through the map so like this one right here this yellow yellow crystal on chapter nine for example you have to get the board so in order to get the board you have to go through the map and get some other stuff but there's also uh, each of these chapters have more than one crystal I believe there's three crystals hidden in each one of them so right here inside of here same chapter where we just saw that other one there's the yellow crystal now if you're the bacon I don't believe that you can actually get it uh, but yeah so other players there in the map can get it and more than one person can get the crystals because we got more than one player in the map so I recommend if you can work with other players you can go into a VIP server you can have one person be the uh, bacon and then the other people can go and find the crystals just to make it a little easier for yourself gonna be a little bit more challenging if you are in uh, servers that are public servers and all the people there are working to get the crystals so this game is very similar to like piggy that sort of format you have to go through find keys uh, open doors access doors different maps you have to make at least part way through to get some of the crystals but like for example right here here's one of the green crystals in this map now you can see when I get it up at the top right there I have the green crystal and that's gonna stay there so uh, every time you get a crystal it's gonna stay up there at the top uh, after you get the blue one there in the chapter one green one here in chapter two pink in chapter seven and the yellow one in chapter nine then you're just gonna go through a cutscene so you can see second one right there uh, a cutscene and it's going to give you the reward after you see AJ wakes up and all that stuff Stuff. but uh, in order to do that you have to get all of these now if you want to know how to get through these maps there's tons of videos on YouTube for every individual chapter on how to get through that in bacon so just kind of look for that that's not usually too hard but you find keys get yourself access to places and uh, and then you're good to go hey guys I'm gonna show you how to get AJ strikers crate drop in the game balls so you can see right here this disjointed version of AJ you look down there it says in order to get the crate this week uh, you have to get one of the uh, the crates that falls from the sky and the last person to break it uh, gets it so you have to interact with it and several people will interact with it and if you're the last person to interact with it uh, then you will actually get this item so first things first you want to go inside of this building now this is really really annoying really frustrating gonna take a little bit of time guys this is a huge pain in the butt you got to climb up these balls to get to the top and uh, basically the crates they're not gonna work their way to the bottom they're gonna be up towards the top and that's gonna be the way to get them so in order to get to the top you have to find your way on top of all these balls but then there's not necessarily room all the time to go up so you kind of have to keep going through and it's really easy to also get stuck it's easy to fall down it's just a huge pain in the butt when you look up you can see there's going to be icons we just saw those there a second ago there's icons for the actual balls that you're trying to get for the crates so uh the biggest part of this is just climbing up to the top now you can keep looking up to the top and if you look up you will see the icon for aj's crate drop that will show you where the crate is actually at so we're speeding up through this part uh there's some of these balls it seems like they suck you in and pull you in and you got to try to get away from those ones those uh those ones that are kind of invisible on the inside but once you get to the top as i'm up to the top here you can see right there a crate finally fell and it says 20 so each each time someone interacts with it that counts down so I'm interacting interacting someone else is interacting I got the last one uh, it says winter check got it but you can see on the bottom right I actually got it as well so I've got the badge there for this crate and that is how you get AJ's crate drop in the game balls hey guys I'm gonna show you how to get AJ strikers crate drop in the game blocks topia so when you start up it's gonna give you a splash screen just tell you there's a new fishing mini game in the beach area and if you manage to catch the exclusive metaverse fish you will be given the reward so you also have the option to teleport right there so just click yes teleport to the fishing area and then right in front of you you see this dock and there is this circle 
down there and fishing is easy all you have to do is just click on the water you will cast and you just leave it there and eventually you will see that a fish will come and get your bait and it'll come up and it will show you which kind of fish that you get so uh for me this ended up taking about seven and a half minutes of fishing so just keep going you'll catch different things from logs various fishes uh, axiolotls, you'll catch some bloxy colas. Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't say that correctly, but yeah, different types of fish. We're going to speed through most of the fishing part. Uh, so that's all you do. You just keep clicking, click OK, fish. It takes a while, apparently, before you catch the Metaverse Champion one. I'd like to see if anybody catches it, like, right off the bat. I'm not sure if it's random number generation or what, but eventually uh, I go in there and I've got this out there. And it says, wow, you found the Metaverse fish. And then you can see on the bottom right that I've got the badge. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get AJ Strikers crate drop and the game is Build Island. So uh, first one, uh, you can get, you got to get five of these metaverse crates and there's a bunch of different islands that people have built. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people who are trolling. This is a trolly troll, 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 troll trolly troll mission i'm sorry that's just what it is uh not because of the dev necessarily but because of the other players but you can get one of these crates at least in your own uh area so you can create it and you can see i went and i picked the objects down below and at the bottom is events you can pick up the crates you can put down five of them and then over here you can go uh to the server information and you can save it in a slot and then you can actually make this one public so that other people can come in i would recommend like you know be chill make one that's super easy people can come in and just get crates and uh just make it easy for people to do that so once you do that it will load your island and now it's available so you can actually go and get one of those and you can see on the bottom right it says now you just have to get four more so you have to get a total of five of these crates in different maps now comes the tricky part uh, trying to get four or more in other people's maps. So hopefully this won't take you so long, but when you go to the teleporter, uh, you can try to click on ones that say Metaverse Challenge. A lot of them, when you click on them, it won't actually teleport. You click on play and you try to join. Quick join will just kind of put you in a random one and that one might have a crate that's available, but maybe not. Uh, but you can see right there, teleport failed. You try to look for ones that say metaverse and hopefully there's free crate ones, but sometimes the ones that say free crate is just a troll game on the other side. Uh, but what I'd recommend is if you go into them, some of them right here, there's going to be like a, a keypad and you're going to have to find the code. I wouldn't recommend uh, waiting to get through those ones because I don't think I've seen those where anybody's actually getting into the rooms I'd just say take a quick look and if it's not easy if you don't see a crate that is obvious then just turn around go back to the teleporter and try to find another game for you to teleport to and after you do that uh, you're going to keep doing this, keep teleporting to different games, and eventually you will find five of these crates. Uh, let's see. So this next one, I do manage to get a crate after I actually teleport. Uh, but yeah, so sometimes the name doesn't always indicate that there is a metaverse crate in there. Uh, but sometimes the purple uh, color if, with the background does indicate that for uh, for a minute. But uh, this one right here, it looks like there's several crates in here, and it looks like they've realized uh, that I'm in here as well. They uh, they try to write a YouTuber, I think. Uh, and then there was a teleporter in here that I tried to use to get to AJ's crate, which is here in the corner of this map. But guys, again, all maps are going to be different. These are made by the people who whoever made the island, and they teleported me when I tried to grab that. But there's another AJ's crate here in the corner, but when I grab that one, you can see down at the bottom right now I've got two of them and I just have to get three more. So you just keep doing this, teleporting to different islands and uh, eventually you gotta get five of these crates in five different islands. And after you get the fifth one, then you'll see on the bottom right, you'll have a badge. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to get AJ Strikers crate drop in the game, build it. So when you go in here, it says right there, win a round in the build battle game mode uh, to complete the mission. So pretty straightforward. You're gonna collect the daily reward and right there, it says build battle it says use this type and you want to win in that type so the game's pretty simple pretty straightforward there's a little tutorial here in the beginning very quick 
teaches you. You can use different colors. You build things. You can use delete. You can. It's it's really really very intuitive. You can just drop blocks down and you start building something. There's a theme up at top right now. We've got a palm tree. You can kind of uh, work together with friends. Try to work together in a public server. We tried to do this in a private server and we did not get the actual uh, b badge or award. So it looks like you got to win this at least for now in a public server in order for it to work. If you are doing it in the uh, in the private server again it is not going to work for you so uh, you just have to win and this voting thing's going to happen every now and then it's going to show everybody else's picture and the voting part could take long uh, depending on how many people are in the server it's going to show several things for long periods of time go ahead and just vote for them however you deem fit if they're good if they're meh if you think they're legendary or if you think they're epic hopefully you can work with some friends and you guys can all take turns and try to figure out how to let people know so everybody can get this item but you can see down there on the bottom right it's already awarded the badges here before it actually puts me on the pedestal but right there on the bottom right you can see that we've got the badge here for aj's crate here in the game build it hey guys i'm going to show you how to get aj strikers crate drop in the game dread so when you start the game it says right there your objective is to kill a zombie carrying a metaverse box and then you have to survive the round that's the hard part this game really really difficult the difficulty is way too much uh but basically see the ones that are glowing blue right there they've got a metaverse backpack in their back and you can see on the left after you kill one of those it will pop up right there and it'll tell you to survive but if you die like i did right there then you're not going to get it you're going to have to do another round now every round eventually is going to have zombies that are carrying the metaverse backpack you see right there this one is glowing blue so i killed that one killed the common zombie and you can see on the left it says survive the round to claim your mystery box so that's all you have to do is survive but again it is really difficult this game is really really hard you need to get as many people in a server as possible and you guys need to work together and use your ammo sparingly and yeah basically that's all i can say to recommend here guys this one's not easy it's gonna take some time just because uh the zombies are very very hard it's hard to survive around but once you kill the zombie that is glowing blue you will see on the left that you've got the crate right there then all you have to do is survive Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Faye Yoshida's Terror Crate in the game Wizard Cat. So when you start out, you can see Faye is right over here. You go and you talk to her and she tells you what you need to do. Reach rank 6 to claim the, the case. So you're going to start out level 1 if you've played this before and you've already grinded on the game and you're already level 6. You can just go in there and you can just claim it. So this game is kind of interesting. You uh, you go around and you try, you're try. you basically fighting up against these bots and you can collect power-ups to give you more power so that you can kill the bots a little easier so you want to shoot those they're also battling against each other as well and sometimes you might be in a public server and be battling against people so there's either people or bots that you're battling against the bots are a little bit easier to go up against as well uh, you want to kill as many of the bots as possible but it seems like each round no matter how well you perform you get the same number of experience and points at the end so if you pick up power-ups like this you can see that we've got special uh more powerful things don't fall there in the water you see if you fall that makes you die but you're gonna get points now we're gonna just go to the, the next round here i guess so uh what i recommend keep shooting at those bots get the power-ups you can see it takes their life down much quicker and you also if you get hit a bunch of times you want to try to get some hearts because the hearts will help you get some more life. Uh, so yeah, see those bots were fighting against each other. Try to avoid getting hit from those bots. Uh, I don't know if necessarily you're going to get more points for killing more bots. I don't think that you do like this one. I think I win and come in first place. But this is just a grind mission, guys. In order to get this crate, it's just grind, 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 grind. Play a bunch of games. Get experience. Play. Get experience. Play. Get experience. Keep doing that over and over and over. I think each level, you're going to have to play like five or six rounds just to get each level. So you're probably going to have to play through like 30 rounds or more just to get to level six, just so you can get this crate. So this is just a time consuming one. It's really not that difficult necessarily, but yeah, each time you go through one of these and you can see uh, you're going to level up right there. It shows I'm level one and it just increases a little bit. That was from me getting a lot of kills. And uh, you can get bonuses there actually for accuracy and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, so you can see I got to level two. Just keep doing that until you get to level six and then go up to Faye. And then after you're, uh, you're level six, you can actually claim your terror case. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Faye's terror case in Ant Colony Simulator. Just a warning, guys, this one's going to take a really 
really long time. You start out, it's just like Bee Swarm Simulator. You go and you hatch one. You talk to Faye. She's got missions for you. You can see on the left side, we've got missions. First mission is collect strawberries. Then you go back, you talk to her. She's going to give you another mission. And she's going to give you some stuff each time. Second part, you have to go and collect blueberries. And as you go through the process, you have to keep coming back to your area. And you have to put the food in your nest. You have to store the food. So you've got a backpack. You've got a fork that you start with. Of course, there's a shop right there. You can get bigger backpacks. You can get better items for digging. You can get knives. You can get spoons. And every now and then, you just have to keep going back to your area. And you have to keep resting. But uh, on the left side, you can see collect blue blueberries. This is the second part. Uh, you can also get your... Uh, your your ants to help you out with this process. So as your ants are helping you, uh, you can also feed the treats to your ants to get them to level up. And here we are in the shop. Now I'm speeding this up times 10 for the speed. Guys, this is gonna take you, again, about 45 minutes. It's not difficult, it's not challenging, it's not really even fun. It's just a very long grind. So next part, you gotta go get hot dogs and sunflower seeds. So you just have to keep going around there. There's a spider, just keep running around and trying to collect while the spiders come coming after you and eventually your ants will take the spider out and if someone else comes around they may attract another spider but hopefully their spider won't come towards you and try to kill you so we've got sunflowers we've got hot dogs we're talking to Faye again you talk to her and then you have to talk to her again to get the next mission uh, now we've got uh, some stuff to feed to our ants we're gonna feed our ants now we have to get sandwiches and ice cream sandwiches are over here in the picnic area of course and then the ice cream we're going to show you are in a different area uh, i recommend if you can at this point try to get a bigger backpack otherwise you're going to have to keep making more and more trips over to your nest and that's just going to make it take even more time now behind the fireplace and the marshmallows you can find the ice cream over there there is a ladybug also same thing with the spider try to avoid it and eventually your ants will kill it next thing you have to collect here is s'mores and marshmallows so over here by the campfire lots of s'mores and marshmallows and if you've got enough stored food and you can get better things for scooping and more storage than that works too and also if you want to spend 50 robux you can get a little bit more and try to go through that period that whole process a little bit faster yeah i spent i think i spent like 100 robux here during this thing just so i can get a little bit more so i could get some more ants and move along faster because guys this mission is torture it it, it it takes a really long time if you want to avoid one guys i would say this is one to avoid for fey uh definitely this and this game is pain so the hardest games so far are for fey i think this is going to affect her score uh anyways we're still collecting s'mores and marshmallows even though we're going times 10 on the speed we've got that now the last thing we have to do is tacos now behind that picnic area you climb up the stairs past the hot dog dude you got to get tacos but you have to collect 4,800 tacos uh at this point my bag holds 3,500 so i'm gonna spend some more time here getting these tacos so we're still working on this, working on the tacos. They get small as you collect them, but when they're really small, you can still kind of chop at them and get more before they actually disappear. You want to come, you have to store your food, of course. It's going to take a while because there's a lot that the, that we're storing over here. Going to go back to this area and then surprise visit from our friend Boo Breezy. Yo, Calixo, go check out Boo Breezy. Subscribe to them. And somehow my spoon like disappeared as well when I was talking to them. Uh, that was really weird. Uh, I had to go back. I had to basically equip a different item and then go and re-equip my spoon again for it to come back. So a little bit buggy in this game as well. So it's a, just a typical simulator, basically a copy of Bee Swarm Simulator, but it's ants instead. But now that we've gotten the last thing done, almost the last thing done, we've got the copy uh, or we've got uh, all that stuff. Last mission, we have to defeat this ladybug. So we go up to it, our ants defeat it. We've already done that. Now collect phase chest right there. Now we're not completely done at this point. We still have one more thing. We have to take this treasure chest and we have to go bring it to Faye. Now, after we bring it to Faye, that's when we will actually be done. But all the things that you need to get are in this first area. You don't have to get five ants. You don't have to go to the second area. Uh, the tacos were a little bit more challenging for me to find, but once I found them behind the picnic, we were good to go. But now that you've got this treasure chest, go talk to Faye and you can see on the bottom right that you've got the bat. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to get Faye's terror case in the game, Big Bank Robbery. So when you start, just go to one of those uh, circles to uh, 
queue up in one of the missions and it's gonna do a countdown. Heist will start when that countdown basically finishes. So uh, this one is pretty easy to do. All you have to do is go through the game, but there is a lot of points where you're just gonna have to kind of sit there and wait for things to happen. So uh, if you've got more people on your team, the better. Uh, it doesn't really take that long to get through this even if you have just yourself but there is kind of a boss that you have to face at the end and it's helpful if you have other people on your team for that so it's going to take you over here to this bank and uh you go in there and it says your job is to hide inside until night so all you have to do is just kind of sit here in the bank and you have to wait here for about I'd say it's about three minutes. Uh, I'm going to skip forward past a lot of this, but it says to explore the bank. So if you want to go ahead and explore around here inside of the bank, you're just waiting for this guy to come in uh, with another person, which is this person right here, Lars. And it looks like there's also going to be a mobster coming in as well. So uh, the fact that you want to escape the mobster uh, means that this door behind you opens, the guards go out there, and I think they're gonna try to protect you. But what you need to do is hide. So in this room, this looks like a good place to hide. We've got these little closets. You can come in here, uh, close the doors and hide. And then later you can see that uh, you're gonna you're gonna survive the night or whoever came into the bank. It says right there at the top, hide. <laughs> and then uh, now it says we did it. It's gonna move you from your hiding spot. And now it says we wait until nightfall. So again, you just wait around a little bit and then eventually it's gonna say, now find your way to an elevator and it's gonna open the door. And it's gonna say that we left some tools for you to pick up. So you go to that little case and you grab yourself a crowbar. So there's a door just around the corner in the same room here with the tools and you have to attack the door. You can see the amount of HP, the H, the hit points that it's got on it. As soon as you hit it down to zero hit points, the door is going to open up. Watch out for these traps that are in here. You don't want to step on those and lose life or end up dying because you're so close to the end to getting the badge. Uh, so just go up these stairs around the corner uh, and walk through this threshold over here and then go through this door. Now over on the ground level, you can see this guy with phase terror case on his head. So that's an indication obviously that this is the guy that you need to beat to get the terror case. Uh, he's not really that hard. Uh, Edgard, he does do a couple moves where he spins around. He, uh, he does a, a tornado thing and then he does another thing where he spins his arms around. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, this is one of those points where it's better if you have more than one person in the server to help you out and try to defeat this guy. So there's just two of us here right now and we handle him pretty well. Just run away from him when he's spinning like that. And, uh, and when he stops spinning, then that's time to go and hit him with your crowbar. When he starts spinning again, get away from him. And as you can see, he's got this main spin move that he does. It doesn't seem to make him dizzy or anything, but the second move where he just spins his arms around, that's another uh, time to avoid him. But when he's not spinning, go there and hit him. You can see his, his HP is going down pretty quickly and is right there in the middle of the screen. After you kill him, you can see he goes down and on the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you can see that you've got the badge. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to get phase terror case here in the game break in story. So once you get in, of course you wanna get into the bus or moving truck and wait for the 30 seconds for that to count down. Then it's gonna take you over here to the house that gets broken into. Uh, but in front of the house, you can see Faye and you talk to Faye. She says graffiti five pieces onto the main house. It's time to do some redecorating. We're gonna make over the house. And you can see on the outside of the house, there's some outlines of the things that you need to spray paint. So you go in there and you just go and spray paint on it. It's automatically gonna select the colors so after you do the inside color you need to shake the can so there's a little button there and you click on that to shake the can then you do the next color and you cover the whole thing then you shake the can of course again and then you want to do another part of the art and then you're going to shake the can one more time and then you're going to do another piece of the art and then of course you're going to shake a can when you're done with that then we're going to do some background stuff in the art now we're going to shake the can one more time and then we're going to color one more thing here which is a little stencil on the outside and then boom you can see over there on the right it says one out of five complete now we can see this one right here which says aj sucks we're gonna speed it up here about twice as much speed to show you how to go through this because the rest of it's basically the same thing you have five things on the side of the walls of the house 
that you have to take care of here. Uh, it might turn dark or get get dark in there, uh, or it might kind of do some of the storyline, but the door should be open. You should be able to go outside and do this, and you're just gonna get all five of these taken care of, and you gotta make sure you find them in different places around the house. So, all right, we've got three of those complete. We've got the one that says, oof, one that says AJ sucks, and then one that says break in. Now we've got this one right here, Faye rules. So we're going to cover that one. Of course, uh, keep shaking the cans, go over there. Really good colors. I like the colors on this one. I think, I think that Faye's really going to like the colors on this one as well. So, uh, hopefully she's, she's a, she's going to be happy with what we've put together here. So that one doesn't take as much work to do. Some of these take a little bit more shaking cans and, uh, doing some of the outlines and different colors than the others, but it's all pretty straightforward, pretty easy. This shouldn't take too long. Easy mission. Make sure you guys up vote thank you so much cracky for an easy mission and for an awesome game this is a great game so you guys uh, should probably check it out as well so after you've outlined the final one you can see on the right there it says five out of five complete so uh guys make sure you stick around for the cutscene because the cutscene is kind of fun too uh faye comments on your work she says great job loving the red coloring on this piece then you see aj right there he sees the thing that says aj sucks and he's devastated take that aj now i like aj aj is cool uh it should have should have said spark sucks and something about like there is no pink valkyrie anyways you will have the badge there on the bottom right afterwards and uh that's how you get this item here in the game break-in story hey guys i'm going to show you how to get phase terror case in the game pacer test so as soon as you start you want to come around the corner here uh you can talk to Faye. basically yeah just talk to her she's going to tell you to go and find the treasure chest and uh we're going to speed up this part a little bit if you go on treadmills and spend time in the game grinding you can actually run a little bit faster but you don't need to it's just that running down this first part is going to take a while and if you die you're going to respawn back at the beginning and uh i actually died once just walking down the halls i don't know the game is a bit bugged. I'm not sure what happened or why that happened, but that may happen to you. But anyways, you want to go into this room. Now, be careful when you go in there. You don't want to hit any of these lasers. Now, you can't jump or anything, so it's not about jumping, but the secret is that first person is your friend. And uh, I thought I was way too tall. It might be easier if you get a smaller avatar or somebody who's nice and short. Uh, but yeah, I was able to get through here with my avatar the way it is. Uh, but our friend Blazy's right there doing a demonstration on how to get through that, that uh, shout out to Blazies for uh, showing us how to get through this laser spot right here so we're going into first person and then sidestepping really slow so we can go through those lasers uh, so just take it nice and slow take it easy and uh, it looks like you may be too tall for some of these lasers but you can actually fit through if you go through to the right spot so follow along with me right here uh, again this laser in the back seems like it's just not uh, not tall enough, but if you kind of work your way back there in the corner and then go under it in the corner, then you're good. And then right here where Blazies is dancing, you can see there is Faze Terror Case. It's a small one. Go up to it and then touch it basically. And you can see on the bottom right that you've got the badge. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Faze Terror Case in the game promo code adventure. So as soon as you start the game, you can talk to Faye right here. It sounds like she's missing something and some trolls have stolen it from her. So you have to go and find or some goblins. Uh, you have to go find those goblin thieves and you have to get her items back for her. So if you just turn around and you see this little hill over here. Just climb up there, and there's going to be a bunch of different types of goblins. So, uh, just normal goblins. They're pretty easy to kill. Uh, the archer goblins. Those are pretty easy to kill, too. And they sit off on the side, and they kind of hit you a lot. And then there's also the goblin swordsmen. Those ones are pretty difficult, and they will take you out pretty quick. So, what you're looking for is actually the goblin thieves, which don't uh, spawn actually very often. So, uh, I think it's like maybe one i don't know it's like one in a hundred or, or something like that even with a lot of people in a server it took a long time now if you're by yourself in a vip server uh just killing the goblins it's going to take you a long time before you're actually going to see goblin thieves pop up but basically this is just a click and grind game there's not much to it you're just walking around killing goblins and hoping for a goblin thief to pop up and after one pops up 
Uh, hopefully you kill it. You see right there, see that goblin thief? You can tell the thief, it says above his head, goblin thief, for one thing. And then it has a dagger that is uh, purple. So uh, when it dies, you want to go and get the item that it drops, which is going to be uh, first the hat for Faye and then her headphones. Uh, but see how it says your inventory is full? Now, uh, I picked up some other items along the way, some mana potion, healing potion, apples. Yeah, so I got my inventory too full, so it was too full to actually pick up the items. So make sure you have room in your inventory to pick up these items. The thing is, uh, you are also competing against other players. You can see right here, we've got another thief over there. And uh, go, you find the item, and it, hopefully, if you're lucky, you will be the one who picks up the hat when the thief drops the item because when the thief has uh draw it's killed it drops a bunch of items the items that you need are the hat that belongs to fate and then her headphones and then after you get those items all you have to do is bring them back to her but as you can see here uh in the servers public servers private servers whatever you've got people competing for that item so this is kind of a troll sort of mission it's going to take a little bit of time uh it's going to be more difficult when you've got more people competing for the items when they get dropped and the, especially the fact that thieves don't spawn very often so uh, it would be really cool if the devs actually spawn thieves a little bit more often because it gets a little frustrating guys So hint hint to the devs, uh, but once you actually get uh, all of those items You just need to take them over back to Faye and then she will say thank you very much for retrieving my items for me And she will give you the badge and you will have her terror case Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to get Faye's terror case in the game resort tycoon So you're gonna see in your area There's, there's a tutorial that you might have to go through uh, but you're gonna see an arrow that points to the metaverse thing uh don't step on these things those are like game badges you don't need those but you get a free teleporter you step on that teleporter is built so you go inside the teleporter it's going to take you to a special event island so uh first thing you do is you can see there's a collector right over there step forward and this is going to just build the island and then step forward a little bit and the first free thing you've got some worker i guess we've got an intern uh that's digging up coal for you and the coal i guess is what's making money for you so you leave him for a while just let him spend some time digging some stuff up for you turn around and go to the collector and this is pretty much like any other tycoon you go to a collector you get more of the money you use the money to step on the pads to build things out more and more so right here we've built out that part of the lab now we've got another collector here now we're just going to speed it up at four times the speed uh you just wait and you go to the collector when you've got enough you build walls you build different parts you build things to make it more productive and more efficient and uh you're just going to keep going along with this whole process you're going to build this other room over here and you're going to spend most of your time just sitting there staring at the collector uh, as it collects more and more money uh, i'm not sure how to make it go faster necessarily uh, i think at some point uh, it does, but uh, this lab right here, you can see looking at the walls, somebody likes Faye, but right there by the champion's box for 4,500. So once again, after you've built to this point, you just need to go back to the collector. And once it gets to enough money, collect what you need, go over here, build the champion's box and the box appears right there. And you can see on the bottom right that you've got the badge. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Phase Terror Case in the game Robloxian High School. Now, this one's going to take a little bit of time. You have to find 12 nodes, and they're all over the map. But I'm going to show you where every single one is, and we're not going to really speed this one up so you can basically kind of uh, play along at the same time. First one is right outside here, uh, and then we're just going to go the first one, second one, third, fourth. We're going to go in order. We're going to find every single one from one through 12. So uh, I don't really need to walk you through the whole thing. We're going to show you exactly where to go anyways. And uh, when it comes time to spawn vehicles, just uh, when you go to the shop, see, you might have a sedan, like a free vehicle that you can actually use instead of the scooter that I'm using to get around. And that might be a little bit faster, but we're going to show you basically uh, all the little spots and where to go. Uh, but over there on the right, on the bottom those little icons there's also a blue one right there which is kind of like a map and you can use that to teleport but you see we got the first one outside second one was in the janitor's closet third one here is in the auditorium then we're gonna have to go find some outside as well uh but just kind of walk uh, or watch all of the places that i walk to uh through this process and all the places that i drive to to pick all of these up and that will show you where to get all of these pieces
Okay, the twelfth and final piece you can see is right here inside of this bike shop after we've teleported over to the school. So yeah, that's all twelve of the pieces. Now that we're done, we can click on that thing on the left and you can teleport to the booth. And once you're there, you can click on claim. And now that you've got all 12 of them, you can see on the bottom right that you've got the badge. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to get phase terror case in the game. This game is pain. So just a warning guys, this, the name is appropriate. This game really is pain. It is a pain in the butt. This is gonna take a lot of time. This is gonna take a lot of effort. If you already have one of phase crates, this one might not be worth all of the effort and all the work that it takes in order to do this. So uh, the game starts out with an intro. It's pretty easy, the first couple ones. There's a two by two, then a three by three, a four by four, a five by five, and it keeps going until you get to level 10, which is a 10 by 10. So these two by twos, what is going on here is it is just like one of those slide puzzles. So you know those slide puzzles where they show you a picture and then you basically have to put the picture back together. So right here in this game, it's gonna show you the image right off the bat. So initially it's not too hard. The first one you solve, pretty much by accident second one super easy as well this one really comes together uh really easily so boom that one's easy you get finished uh with that one but it's of course easier if you take a picture of the image beforehand you can view the original image but that costs robux uh, i've got my snipping tool here uh in my computer so i use my snipping tool to take a picture of the image so i can see what it looks like beforehand so now we've got our four by four image coming over here uh this image is what the final product is supposed to look like so i recommend use your snipping tool right here i'm going to pull that up i'm going to grab the image i am going to grab that image as well uh, we're going to turn the stabilization thing off and there we go we've got the image then it is going to mix up all of that stuff and is going to mix up the puzzle mix it up mix it up and then uh you have to put the puzzle back together now this one right here is a four by four level four uh on level five they do a five by five on level six it's a six by six and yeah you guys have to go all the way up and finish 10 by 10 for this whole thing so uh there is some strategy on how to do this how to move certain pieces around and get them to different locations and how to start and how to do this whole thing uh so i'm gonna give you a link here to uh it's like cough.com and it's how to solve any slide puzzle regardless of its size so it's going to be some information that's tips on how to solve slide puzzles because these slide puzzles they require a little bit of strategy sometimes you just got two pieces that you've got to swap out and just trying to swap out those two pieces gets to be a pain in the butt of course on the left you can skip you can spend robux to skip and i think it's 150 robux to skip a level so if you want to spend robux to get past these levels that's also an option uh, that you can do so it can be a pay to win situation but uh yeah basically uh dev ultra just wanted to give you guys a real uh challenge and give you guys one of the hardest missions that uh we've had in an event and this one definitely lives up to the hype it is definitely very difficult so uh once you guys get this one done it's it's all you guys uh, i'm not going to go through and spend the time to do all 10 by 10 but after you get all 10 by 10 done then you will get the badge and you will have it here for uh this game is pain and uh that is how you get phase terror case uh for this one but yeah if there's any that you guys are going to choose to probably skip this might be one of the ones that you would choose to skip because it's going to take a long time and it's going to be very very difficult so anyways once you get it done you should have the badge and there you go Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Phase Terror Case in the game Trader. So as soon as you start here, it says Metaverse Champion Quest. Talk to Faye. Faye is here in the map. You can do your daily collection of your daily awards and your daily login and all that stuff. Faye is right up here in the corner. And if you talk to her, you can hold down F to talk to her. She says, hey, whatever your name is. And then you need to do three more rounds before you can get my weapon. So in order to get what you need here, you need to win three rounds. So this does not work in VIP servers, guys. It will not work in VIP servers. You have to do it in public servers, okay? So uh, if you do this in VIP, again, you're not gonna get it. It's not gonna count, gotta do it in public. So there's three roles. You're civilian, a trader, or an agent. So right now as a civilian, I'd want to run around and try to uh, basically do all these tasks to make that timer up at the top go down faster. So when that timer goes down, then you can actually extract and leave the map and then that is a win for you as a citizen if you see see computers you want to go up to them you want to press the f button and you want to fix them if you see levers you want to go up to them press f and pull those down if you find objects you want to get those 
over to the uh, con the electrical panel. There's three of those, and you get 30 seconds off that. And there's places where you can see three numbers in the map, and then when you enter those, that's also another 30 seconds off. So watch out for people, though. You don't know who is the killer and who's not the killer. So basically, whoever the traitor is, they may just whip out a knife and kill you, and then that round is basically a wash. You got to go and start over again, and you got to keep going until you win three of them. So as a trader right here, you get a knife and as a trader to win, you have to kill the agent and uh, and also the other people in the game. So you want to kill those and make sure they don't escape. Now, another thing you get as an agent. So when you're the agent, what you want to do is find the trader or traders in the map. Uh, there might be more than one trader, depending on how many people are in the server. But as the agent, what you want to do is you want to find whoever the trader is and you want to kill them and shoot them and then you will get a victory so either way get three victories as trader as an agent or as a civilian and then after you're done getting your three wins go back talk to Faye and then she will give you your crate Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Faye Yoshida's terror case in the game Vibe at NYC. So as soon as you start, it says that the splash screen started and it's part of the whole metaverse thing and you need to go and talk to Faye. So you start in the game, you come here, you talk to Faye, you're going to chat with her for a little bit. You got to hold down the F button and then she's basically telling you that she's lost her shards. So once again, we're going to have to go and find some shards hidden throughout the map. So uh, what we need to do is find the 20 shards, which are throughout this whole map. Uh, shout out to my buddy Blazies who came in here and did it before me and knew where these shards were and came and showed me how to do this. Gotta love time zones. Uh, he got a little bit of time on it. So see right here, this first shard, super easy to find. You just turn around and you can see it. Uh, you go and you grab it, you hold down the button, and there you go, you take it. Sometimes you might end up sitting on some seats that you don't intend to sit on, uh, but just watch where I'm going here in this video. We've got it at normal time, and then you can see where I collect every single one of these crystals. So there's 20 total. Uh, there's certain parts of the map that we have to teleport to. Uh, like over here, there's like, uh, I, I was like, where did he go? He seemed to... He seemed to have disappeared, but back here, there's actually like a secret door. So there's several secret doors and secret rooms that we have to go into to try to find some of these shards. So just watch what I do here in the video, and then we'll talk to you again once we get all 20 of them, and we have to go into the next step.
Okay, so now we've got 19 out of 20. Uh, the last shard uh, right here and between behind the NYC cafe, there's another hidden door and that takes you to the arcade. And then in the arcade behind one of those machines back there in the corner is where you're gonna find the 20th and final shard. So it doesn't stand right out. It's actually right here uh, back in the corner over there behind the yellow machine. So you can see it right there. Uh, when you're close enough, you can see that you can grab it. Uh, so as soon as you take this one, it is going to tell you to go over to Faye Yoshida's. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna make our way back over to Faye over here. So she's just in the main area. She's really easy to find. So after you go talk to her. All right, so remember that's the NYC Cafe. Around the corner here, we've got Faye over here. So now she's got one more mission that you've got to go through. You've got to go through, you got to find a, a te teleporter, uh, a portal, and we're going to show you exactly where that is. And then you got to go through the portal, and then there's an obby that you have to go through. It's not too difficult of an obby, pretty straightforward. Then, uh, well, of course, we're going to show you how to do that. So, in order to find the portal, you got to go up these stairs over here, and then directly across, and then directly across again, and then through this piece of art. And then right there, we've got the portal. You can go through that portal, and uh, you just have to hold down the F button. Again, it's going to teleport you to a different area where you do an obby, and then this obby, of course, is a. It's pretty straightforward, Obby. You just kind of keep going forward. I try to avoid touching the things that are going to kill you. Uh, there is one spot a little forward here that I'm going to show you about that was a little bit tricky that I kept dying because it didn't seem like it was really obvious that you could actually even die in that part. So uh, we're going to talk about that. So right here, we save, go onto the cone, and then here, and then right here, after you jump here, if you just walk straight forward, it's going to kill you. You have to jump over that little ledge right there because it seems like it just kills you every single time but other than that just pretty straightforward just watch what i'm doing here in the obby and make your way over to Faye at the end Okay, and here we are at the end of the obby. You can see once you get up there, as soon as you get on the platform on the bottom right, you've got the badge, and you can see Faye Yoshida's right there, and she will give you your crate. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Faye's terror case in the game Water Park. So as soon as you come in the game, you will see there's an NPC of Faye right there. And she tells you to go to the beach and talk to the pirates. So there's a little teleporter thing on the right side, or on the left side. You can see teleport, run. Uh, you want to click on the run so that you run a little bit faster. Otherwise, you can see the way I'm going right now is pretty slow, walking pretty slow. So we're going to go over here and we're going to talk to this pirate guy first. All right, so we're interacting with him. He says, ahoy, I've stumbled upon your water park, blah, blah, blah. So he's gonna ask for doubloons, but they're, they're not doubloons, they're they're like lifesavers. They're, they're like the life vests that you have on ships. But I thought balloons was like a cash currency, but anyways, that's what they look like. The first one, super easy. You just turn around and it's right behind you for a little example. Uh, you just interact with that and now we've got some friends here in the server who are helping us who are helping us kind of find some of these so just kind of follow 
where I go. This is just normal speed. Uh, sometimes we're not exactly remembering where it was. Uh, so little pauses here and there just to remember uh, our bearings around the map. But these are all fairly hidden and kind of a diff kind of difficult to find. Uh, but we're going to show you where we get all 10 of them. So just kind of watch along with the video and watch as I collect all 10 of these uh, quote unquote doubloons. So now that we've got all 10 of them, of course we need to go and talk to our pirate friend once again. So we're going to teleport to the beach, we're going to talk to him, and he says, there she is, doubloons. And you'd think, all right, cool, we are done with this. No, we are not completely done with this mission yet. Uh, so after this point, there is a door, a secret door that has been opened that he's going to show you. So he's going to zoom out real quick and then show you over here by this slide that is black and white. Just try to remember, uh, you're gonna do a lot of zooming out. There's parts of the map that pretty much all look the same. So uh, there's this door down there and you can see it says blue, green, red, purple. Uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to go and see if we can open that door in there. So let's see how that works out. But first we're just gonna show you walking over to where the pool is so that we can go down there and give you guys a little bit of uh, perspective. Uh, if I fall in here, of course, we gotta jump out of the water every single time.
All right, so now we found the pool with this guy right here. When we swim down, we can see there's a secret door down here or a secret pathway to a different area. Once you go down there, uh, you can move forward and there's a door there in the back. So can you go into the door? Of course you can, just not yet. Uh, because you got to go and uh, you can click on it and then it gives you a little bit of a hint right here It says hmm blue green red and purple I've seen those around the park somewhere So yes, of course there are some rides that you need to go down and the color of the rides are blue Then green and then red and then purple. So here's the first one right here This is the blue one you can teleport to the top you see right there the red rover and the blue raptor so you want to go down the blue raptor of course so we're going down the blue okay so you just need to make it to the bottom of this ride and i think it basically registers when you're about halfway through the ride is when it starts registering that you've actually gone through that ride uh, but it is definitely looking at the order that you go through these now the next one is green over here. We're over here kind of by the purple one and under the yellow one. And then just around the corner from that one, we're gonna see this green one, which is called the drop and shock. So we're gonna teleport to the top of this one, stand on this red spot, interact with this, and then we're gonna drop through. And then you can see that the color of this one is green. So we've done blue, we've done green, we've done, uh, the next one is red. And then after that is purple. So if you zoom out, you can see that right next to the big purple one is the red one. So you want to go kind of towards the bottom of the red one and you want to make your way to the top. Now, this one was a little bit tricky. Uh, the red rover right there. Uh, so the red rover and the blue one. Now, instead of going down the blue one, we're going down the red one. So it's easier if you can get into one of these inner tubes. It helps you go down. Otherwise, if you're just walking down, it takes a little bit longer and it's, yeah, it's a little bit annoying. This whole, this whole mission is a little bit time consuming and a little bit annoying, but uh, yeah. So um, now we've gone down the red one. Now, all we have to do now, we've gone down blue, we've gone down green, we've gone down red. Now we can go down purple and purple just happens to be the biggest slide over there. So on the left side where you see teleport, you can click on teleport and then just go to the biggest slide and then you can go down this one. So I recommend just get on one of these inner tubes with somebody, you can spawn it. Uh, you have to stand over it for a little while and then you go down this one. And this one is the biggest one. So it's gonna take a little bit of time for you to go down through it. And hopefully uh, hopefully you're on a tube and you're not walking because it'll end up taking a whole lot longer. And hopefully you don't fly out. But anyways, halfway through this one, you can see that it gives you a cut scene and it shows you that door over there. And that door now is open. Uh, you can now actually go in that door, but you gotta make sure that you've gone down the slides though in that proper order, the blue, the green, the red, and then the purple. And then you will get that cutscene to show you guys that the door is open. So now all we're gonna have to do is go back to that pool area. We remember that the pool is over by a slide that looks black and white. It always helps to kind of just remember the colors of the slides and uh, zoom out quite a bit to try to figure out where you're going. So now that we've gone down that, it's just right around the corner. We're gonna go back down to this secret area that we were in earlier and going a little bit further back here this door is now finally open so when you go forward it's almost like there's another slide that you have to go through it's like this invisible slide uh, so you don't have to worry about that lava or anything you're not gonna fall in the lava uh, you're just gonna keep going straight ahead and what happens here is you're basically done when you get to the end of this you will see uh, on the bottom right you've got the badge and that is how you get the crate Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Sparks Kilowatt secret package in the game Egg Simulator. So uh, right there on the left side, you can see Sparks quests. There's a bunch of quests here that you have to do. There's 10 of them that you have to complete and you have to claim them. There's basically 10 keys here that you need to unlock the, the secret package. So uh, you can see on the bottom, I've already got two legendaries from a previous time. But uh, yeah, I'm going to show you how to open pets and how to do this and everything. Uh, but there's... 
Basically, you have to get rubies, you have to get gems, you have to get presents, and you have to get eggs. Collecting presents and gems, not so hard, you, or not gems, yeah, the uh, the blue ones, basically, the diamonds, those aren't hard, it's the, the eggs and the rubies that are going to take forever, because I haven't managed to find a pet that helped with multiplying the rubies, uh, so you're going to walk around, this is going to take a long time, guys, this is just a grind game, it's going to take a while, uh, your bag gets full, you go, you sell eggs, there's a shop over there. Uh, one of the things that you're gonna have to do is you have to get two rebirths, so after you have enough coins, buy a rebirth and then buy a second one. And uh, yeah, so I started out with some coins from a previous event in this game, and I had some pets, but you might have to just do some initial grinding, get eggs, get pets, get eggs, get pets, and the pets help as multipliers for the eggs that you get, but I don't think it really matters. I think you still have to just pick up 500 of the regular eggs and 250 of the rubies, which is a lot. So after you empty out your bag, you can see that there's the shop over here, and in the shop, you can get uh, bigger bags, bigger containers. If you wanna hold more stuff, and you don't want to have to come in and cash in all of your eggs every now and then or as often so uh, just keep going around and uh, keep grinding that's pretty much all we're gonna do here is grinding on the rubies and the eggs uh, you only have to get again five of the presents and I think 35 of the gems and that's really really easy to do uh, you just keep going emptying your bag over here in the shop also is how you open pets so there's this event egg and in the event egg, it looks like they're called like ruby stuff, uh, which is weird because they don't actually have ruby multipliers. You would think that if it was called a ruby alien pet, that it would actually help with ruby multipliers, but it actually doesn't. Maybe they'll do that in an update in the future. It would be really nice to have a pet that updated with rubies. Uh, anyways, you have to hatch 10 of those pets total. And after you hatch 10 pets, then that is one of your quests for uh, Sparks mission here in this level as well. Again, guys, this is going to take a long time, but look at the multipliers. It multiplies the gems, and if you want to equip more than three, then you got to spend Robux. And, of course, we don't want to do that. So we're going to go back, and we're going to keep doing the grinding for more eggs and more rubies. So that's what you're going to be doing. It probably is going to take you, I don't know, 45 minutes or more to do this, uh, this whole quest just because you do have to get so many eggs and you do have to get so many rubies. It would be really cool if the dev nerfed it and made it so it was less, but I'm pretty sure they want to keep people in the game for long periods of time. But as you collect these things and complete these missions, you can see Sparks Quest down there. Uh, you can go through and you can claim those and you get the keys. And you can see at the top it says number of keys found. So we've got six. Uh, click on this one. We've got seven. The last ones we've got, we just need to get eggs and rubies. Now, uh, rubies at that main island start to kind of go low after you've collected a bunch of them so you can teleport to this other area and have the rubies respawn in the first spot and go and collect rubies in this area as well so uh you can see at this point we've i've been in the game for a really long time i've edited a bunch of the time out uh but now we've got 114 so that is one of the missions that we can take care of here uh, as far as Sparks quests, uh, because we've got 100, but now we need to get 250. So we still need to get a whole bunch of rubies and eggs. Uh, we have to get 500 total of those. So if you guys want to take the time to be in the game and grind to get those done, after you get those two done, you claim the last two, and then at the top, uh, it's going to say you finished, and there's some items that you get in the game. You claim those, and then afterwards, you can see on the bottom right, you are going to get the badge, and you will be finished with them. All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to get Sparks Kilowatt secret package here in the game, Fairy Tale Life Roleplay. So in the beginning, uh, choose to be a student. You're going to listen to this lady talk a lot, Princess Freya, so we're just just gonna skip past that but when she's done talking after a long period of time sparks kilowatt is gonna come and talk to you and let her know that she needs help here for the metaverse she needs you to do a good job in your classes it says you'll have to get a grade c or higher in three of the classes in the fairy tale universe thing so uh, a lot of this is just gonna be waiting around it's not too difficult if you see the compass on the right shows what the classes are and when you have to go on the 
top, it shows the time. So it starts you out at 8 a.m. So you want to go straight to fashion class. So you go to fashion class and then everything that you want to work with is there in the back. And as you can see, there is a counter and up there above the counter, you can see that it says dress up and it has a theme and this theme is rainbow. So you just go in there, click in one of those podiums. And now you can kind of pick on the right side, the stuff that you want. You can go to search and you can even search whatever the theme is, rainbow or blue or pink or whatever it is. And it will show up a whole bunch of different things. You can look for pants, you can go through, you can look for shirts, you can look for hats, you can look for things to put on your face, just go with the theme. But I recommend everybody here just during the voting, everybody just vote five stars for each other. Just vote five stars for everybody and then everybody will be sure to get a good grade so uh, a lot of this I'm just cutting out the periods when you're just sitting and waiting and doing nothing because there's a lot of time where you're just counting down through these periods and then after the fashion the next class is a recess and it also has a picture of a fork and a knife so it's also lunch it's lunch slash recess so when you teleport it's gonna send you over to a cafeteria area and yeah all you have to do at this point for a while is just wait you can see at the top it says 12 p.m. Uh, waiting I don't know five minutes then it'll be 1 p.m. and then another five minutes then it'll be 2 p.m. that's what you're waiting for basically is for it to turn 2 p.m. something pops up there then you can teleport to the next class which is art so uh during art it's going to basically put you in front of one of these easels and you can see yours has the emblem above it you pick the colors down below and you try to match up with the image that is on the board and you want to try to do it as quickly as possible now remember all you have to do is get a c or above so if you get a b that's that's just fine if you get a C that's fine if you get an A even better uh, but yeah all you have to do is uh, get a C or above so we just pick the different colors and fill them out I like to just kind of do it one color at a time now we're just gonna do the yellow we've got yellow here 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 and here uh, and then we got black right here 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 and here so I'm not sure uh, if anybody's colorblind uh, hopefully the devs can do something for those guys. Hopefully uh, people can uh, get through that. But anyways, I gotta be because I didn't do it fast enough. But anyways, next class is math. We just kind of cut out the time where you're just sitting there and waiting and doing nothing. So math class, you come in here and you're just going to rapidly go through a bunch of math problems. It's going to put them here on the bottom. Uh, I didn't see when it popped up initially. So I was kind of waiting there for a while before I started answering any of the questions. So yeah, just keep going through. It's some addition, some subtraction, some multiplication. It's not really, I didn't, I don't think I even saw any division questions in there. So it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, not difficult questions. Just go in there, answer them, submit. Uh, and yeah, eventually when you're done, the time will run out at the top and then it's going to go through and it's going to start grading your problems. And then it will give you a grade based on your performance there. And there we go. We, at this point have passed all three of the classes. We just have to wait for this thing to close out. And then after it closes out, then you're going to see uh, a little thing pop up here that says mission complete. You've unlocked the mission complete achievement there. And then you've got the badge and you ha should have the crate now in your inventory. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get spark seeker package in the game invisible beast. So if you join the game, you can see right there, it says choose any of the portals uh, to find the crate. So we're going to go there into battle Royale in a VIP server. You need enough people in order to make this work and people working together, but I'm not sure if this will even work in a VIP server. I had to do this in a public. Um, so it says right here, here. when the beast is knocked down it will spawn a crate with a badge inside so the beast is invisible just like in the name of the game there's an invisible beast uh, you don't want to be the beast so come down here it says activate if you don't want to be the beast so there's this little lever right here I would recommend activate that and make sure it's green and you don't have to do that between rounds it will stay green for you so this game is kind of uh, this this mission is very difficult mostly because the beast is very hard the beast can win very easily if you die then boom you got to keep trying so 
you gotta keep trying over and over the beast is very strong also you're not just competing against the beast you're competing against other people in the server other people in the server are going to kill the beast so you can see right there the beast is invisible and even if you do kill the beast you can see there's a chest right there whoever collects it first is the person who gets it it doesn't matter who actually killed the beast so you need to be there and you need to have one person kill the beast and if you kill the beast or someone else kills the beast you need to go in there and you need to really quickly get the purple chest and you need to get three of those in order to win this whole thing honestly this game and the mission really bad you got to spend a whole bunch of time in here killing the beast and then there you go see if you're not quick enough to hold the e button down then you're not going to get it uh so it's not just the person who ends up killing them that can get the item so i would recommend lots of changes from the devs on this one make it maybe one kill or make it so more people can collect it after they kill it or only the person who kills the beast because that was the last kill and nothing showed up i didn't get anything there but anyways you gotta kill three of them and then you should get the award and you should get the Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Sparks Kilowatt Secret Package in the game Overlook Bay. So as you start, it says Overlook Bay, Metaverse Champions over there. You can see all that stuff. So when you start out, you just get this splash screen after a little tutorial. If you want to go through it, uh, teleport over there. It's going to teleport you to this city area right in front of Sparks Kilowatt. So you go and you talk to her and she is going to give you a little pet friend, uh, a cat an astro cat so you have to raise it to max level and then bring it back to her and that's how you do this mission so this cat starts out at level one level five is max so you see all over see these map this map right here that says overlook bay and it shows where everything is those are going to be very important to you so uh, if you need to do any fast travel to your home or anything most of what you can do is here in the city now if you have a home and you've got like a bath and you've got everything for pets ready to go that might be a good thing for you to do some of these things but you can do most of that stuff here at the pet shop so uh, we're gonna go and we're gonna look at one of these maps it says you are here in the different parts of the map so that shows you exactly where you are with respect to the rest of the map you can see there's the park there's the pet shop there's the movie theaters and you can see at the very top you've got different needs for your cat so in order to level up you need to fulfill the needs for your cat so right now the first need is my cat is bored and wants to go to the park so right now uh, if I click on the need it didn't give me any sort of navigation or anything but uh, it tells me where I do need to go and these posters work for me these maps uh, with where to go so we made our way here over to overlook park and as long as you just get into the park area you can see if, you, if you're in that zone at the top that uh, that need there on the left is starting to go up more and more so it's already a quarter of the way through so all you have to do uh, for this need is just be in that area or be doing what's necessary for that thing you don't have to necessarily try to go down slides not that you can go down these slides or at least not at my height uh, but this slide was pretty fun uh, anyways it looks like my astro cat is losing its boredom right there at the top so it's getting happier and happier as we go so we've got different needs over there it needs to take a bath it might be hungry it might need a, a nap there's one place that's the best for all of those things, and that is the pet shop. So the pet shop is where you're going to want to get most of your needs done. This takes about 10x experience compared to normal pets in the game. So it's not going to take as long to get to max level as it would for a normal one. See, we've got one need done, and we went from level 1 to level 3 already. So the next needs we have up here uh, are some things that we need to get done in the pet shop. So uh, on the bottom there, you can see kind of with our gear or inventory there is a ride right there you can actually click on it and get a bike and that helps you navigate the whole map a whole lot faster if you fall into water or something your bike's going to go away but see it says pets here uh, and also if we look at the map we can see that the pet store is over there and that's what we're doing we're trying to get our way to the pet store which is right here right behind us you can see this is a it's a big purple building it says pets it's it's really difficult to miss so the, what we really care about in the pet shop is something in the very back on the left in the back on the right is the bowling alley but in the back on the left is this room so in the middle is an area you can buy food and then on the sides you've got 
tubs and you've got beds for dogs so right now this one needs a nap so we're going to put him down and we're going to give him a little nap right there and as you can see the needs up on the top are starting to go up and they're going around and it looks like we're getting this need fulfilled so now we've got that one done we've got xp and our astro cat is already at level four out of level five so it looks like it's got some other needs that it needs uh to to have completed I think it might be a little bit bored right now. Uh, if it's hungry, what we can do is right here in the middle, we can go there, we can go to the shop and we can buy some food. So there is a pet treat. We've got that one and you can buy more pet treats if you want. Get some extra pet treats just so that you've got some backup just in case it's hunger need comes back and you need to give it some more food. But right now this one uh, is hungry. So we're gonna give it one of those. So one bone should be enough for that need to be taken care of, but I'm still at level four. So again, as usual, the higher needs don't give you as much XP as the other ones. So we're gonna take this guy over to the movie theater. It looks like that's what his next need is. So in order to fund the movie theaters, pretty simple and straightforward. We already know how to do that. We're gonna go and we're gonna hop on our bike and we're gonna go find ourselves the closest map. So right here, you can see it says you are here and the movie theater is down there on the bottom right corner next to the roller area. So what I do is I just start heading in a direction and if I'm if and see where the it says you are here and if I'm heading in the right direction, it looks like I am heading in the right direction from here. So I just need to go uh, one of these directions and hopefully it's this one and it looks like it is we've got roller ricks i guess we might get rick rolled over there and then over here we've got the movie theater okay so now we found the movie theater this is one of the needs uh for our pet our astro cat right now so you can see once we've gone in the building we're already we don't even have to go into a theater we are already getting entertainment on our astro cat right now as you can see in the upper left hand corner of the screen we've got that need right there and it is starting to go up because it's enjoying itself so much here in the theater i don't know what movie they're watching i'm sure it's catastrophic or i don't know we don't we don't want it to be a catastrophe uh but <laughs> i don't know insert many many cat punts about movies right here but as soon as it's done with it's uh, maybe a dog day afternoon because it has nothing to do with cats anyways it is done now with the movie theater thing and it's level five okay so once it's at level five it means we are really really close all we have to do is go to the next level uh after level five that is max level so we're really close we're gonna head back to the pet shop it looks like we have some needs with regards to food and uh bathing so most of the needs you can actually just take care of in the pet shop you might even be able to just kind of take those needs where you have to go to other places and x them out and just wait for the bathing the sleeping and the food needs to come by and just take care of those here in the pet shop that's a way to do it too if you want if you don't want to travel around the map all the play all around the place uh but right now we're bathing our astro cats because cats love water and love baths of course but this is an astro cat so it's technically an alien cat it's not like the normal cats so uh when you're pick after you pick it up you press r to put it down and it looks like my cat is also hungry so i'm going to feed my cat right here and now we've got 400 out of 400 and it says it is at max so now we've gone through all the needs we've satisfied every need to get to level past level five and get it to max and now uh you can click on the event thing on the left and it says teleport uh it's still going to teleport you in this same city area but it's going to put you right in front of sparks which is where you want to be now that you've taken the cat and you've maxed it out it says you did it you raised the astro cat and then you click on claim prize and then you will get the prize you can see on the bottom right of the screen that you've got the Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Spark Secret Package in the game Rage Runner. So this is like a, uh, it's a runner game. It's take like Speed Runner 4 and combine it with basically Tower of Hell, but it's like sideways running instead of going up or like Pit of Hell going down. So all you have to do, sounds simple enough, is just win. You just have to make it to the end of this whole thing. The problem is there's no checkpoints 
It is unforgiving. There's lots of parts that are very, very difficult, especially towards the end. So all of these maps are pretty difficult. I've tried three different maps and they've all been pretty challenging, spots where you die. Uh, you gotta do some uh, serious jumping. There is the option, if you go to the shop on the bottom left, uh, if you do get enough money and in-game currency in the game, you can buy checkpoints in a round and the checkpoints are very helpful. There's like a certain event one that's like a Bakugan one and there's no checkpoints in that one. It's just a straight run and uh, that one's actually shorter so that one's a little bit uh, easier to do, I guess, because it's actually a little bit shorter, but it's also still a pretty challenging run to do as well. So uh, you might be spending a little bit more time on this than you expected. And the fact that it's called Rage Runner, uh, you might want to expect to rage a little bit. So you might have to go through a couple of these several times and die a few times and want to pull out some of your hair a few times while you're going through these. But anyways, you just kind of keep going keep pushing on through eventually maybe you can get enough so that you can buy checkpoints or if you want to spend i think it's like 110 robux then you can get enough of the in-game currency to buy checkpoints so that you uh get checkpoints on every single color that you pass but you still have to make it to the end before the time runs out so if you do that and you get your checkpoints and you still don't make it to the end with the checkpoints then uh you, it could, you could be in trouble but some of these like this one right here were really quite difficult uh, to do and to pull off because uh, some of these some of these jumps are a little bit further than they seem so uh, Yeah, some of these parts you may just want to wait and uh, Take it slow thing is it zooms out once you start running and it kind of gives you a little bit of a different feel So you kind of feel like you want to or you should just keep on running just keep on doing that but uh, yeah uh, like this one was fairly difficult here towards the end and I'm getting close to the end and running out of time as well really thin spot there we go so moving on here to the next point we are at the very last stage so all you have to do is make it to the end and then once you make it to the very last stage uh, you're gonna see here uh, in just a second so we're just gonna go here jump over here now when we get past the last stage we go inside and there's a door that you have to run to so hopefully you've got enough time to run to the door there at the very end and boom once you hit that it doubles the time kind of like tower of hell and you can see on the bottom right that you've got the back hey guys i'm going to show you how to get sparks kilowatt secret package in the game slip block so uh in this game there's a certain type of mission that you have to wait for that you want to play it's this forest mission right here and you have to find her lost armor there's five pieces i'm going to show you exactly where they are uh, uh, it is timed. You see at the top, it's two minutes, two and a half minutes to go through this thing. And there's an obby. You have to find all the pieces. You can see when you jump across this first part, you talk to her and she just reiterates, I lost my armor in here. I'm afraid uh, to go ahead. So you need to go and find it for me. So you're going to go and help her out and find her, her armor. So the first piece of armor is actually right here. You got to watch out for those little gophers sticking out of the bushes. But if you go here and over towards the end, around the corner on this rock, you can find the first piece now when i went through this it was a little glitch so you can see right there it says one out of five down on the bottom left hand corner uh but then the servers would reset and then the servers would be broken and then i would like get some of the items and they wouldn't show up but basically when you are grabbing those they do actually show up but here's the second part right there second piece is right there on those rocks so uh, you want to get back to the main rocks and then we're going to go across this log over here now watch out for these guys they'll try to push you off so after you go past the second one you can see in this little barrel that's the second one now my time ran out and we're going to another map so you want to just kind of die and if you want over there on the right next to the book see that little uh red thing uh you can go to act two and you can actually purchase the great forest mini game so that is the next one it is 20 robux so starting back where we left off over there and got the third piece so you're gonna see this time uh when i touch these it doesn't actually pick them up because it's glitched but i actually do get them so uh fourth piece is right there you can see i keep trying to grab it and it wasn't actually getting in my inventory but i am actually getting it so that is the fourth piece right there you may have to go uh reset a server if you're in a vip or go into a different server if it's not working for you uh hopefully they will fix that but it's a little glitched right now uh so the fifth piece the fifth and final piece is right up there at the end of that log so all you can do is after this you, once you've got all five of the pieces you can finish you can go to the very end or if you die you can go to the beginning and it shows over here when you talk to 
sparks kilowatt here in the beginning she will recognize the fact that you have that but see it says four out of five for me on the bottom left but it says right here thank you for finding all of my armor so i've actually got five out of five so go back to the lobby you gotta wait till the game's over go to the lobby and then she will say thank you for finding all of my armor parts but you see it still says four out of five instead of five out of five but i did get all five and i did get the badge there on the bottom right hand corner of the screen as well Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Sparks Kilowatt Secret Package in the game, The Elevator of Terror 2. So this is one where you're going to have to wait around. Uh, I would recommend do a public server unless you get enough people into a private server. You have to wait for certain rounds so that you can get certain keys. Uh, and it also tells you basically in the information for the badge. It says, you know, one, look up the sheet for the Konami code. You don't have to find that. You just have to know the code and we're going to give you that code. Uh, but then you have to get two keys that are hidden in the maps, Jeff the Killer and Chucky. So this map right here is Chucky. And as you can see, there is a big key right there in the corner. A whole bunch of people were swarming around it. So if you get into a server and you see this map and a bunch of people are running towards something, then you can see that they're probably running straight for that key. But you can tell this one is Chucky because it's got a little Chucky doll right there in the middle, and that's who the enemy is. So this is the Chucky map. You go in there, you get one of the keys in this map. So after you're done with that map, whether you kill Chucky or you die or whatever, you want to get back in the elevator, and it's going to load the next game. And you want to keep playing now until you get the next map, called Jeff the Killer. So Jeff the Killer and Chucky are the two maps where you get the keys. Now here is another one. Jeff the Killer is going to come out. You can see up there on that on that post, the key was over there. I thought everybody was standing on top of the key, but the key is actually up there on top of the shelf over there in the corner. So uh, we're going to go over there. We're going to get this key. And after we've got these two keys, then we've got basically what we need. So after you get this, you don't have to actually kill Jeff. You can go up. Jeff is right there. You can actually uh, die or Jeff can kill you or whatever happens here. Uh, you can get this, but you don't have everything you need just yet. You just got the keys. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to want to go to the uh, the main lobby area. So in the main lobby area, you can see when you talk to Sparks over there, she asks you to get the keys. She's not going to give it to you, at least not that part right here. There's a secret door here in the corner. So the Konami code right here is Ariba, Abajo, Abajo, Esquerda. Uh, I don't know. It, that's what it is. Derecha, Esquerda, Derecha. I will put that in the description, guys, I will, so you can copy and paste. And once you type that in the chat, then you can see this door opens up. And then you can go there and you can actually go grab her uh, secret package right there. And on the bottom right, you can see that you've got yourself the bad. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Sparks Kilowatt Secret Package in the game Tower Heroes. So as soon as you come in here, you can see there's Metaverse Champions. You can go through that portal or on the right, you can see there's a little package right there. And you click on that and it says, I need your help saving the Metaverse, blah, 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 defeat enemies. This is like any other tower game. So on the bottom, you've got these soldiers that you put down and you put those soldiers down and also you upgrade them and you can see on the bottom left you've got these gems which are your currency and as you defeat the enemies you get more currency and then you can buy more and more of those soldiers and you can also upgrade them so i recommend you know make it really front heavy at first but don't forget to eventually start filling back some of the soldiers because eventually some of your enemies are going to get past those initial ones and you're going to still have some that are out of range of your soldiers so you're going to want to make sure that you keep putting that stuff down uh so yeah and keep upgrading you can see on the bottom left as after each uh wave you get more and more of the currency so just keep doing that to upgrade what you've got work your way through there uh you can see on the top it says wave 15 through 25 there's 25 total waves the final wave is just a boss wave, which isn't too bad. Uh, I thought I would like be falling through space, but don't worry, you're not gonna fall through. You're okay, you're somehow protected. You've got some sort of gravity boots, but uh, there's certain a number of times that you can use certain soldiers down here at the bottom, like the cat is at 650 and you can only use one of those. The, the drawing or the, the doll of Sparks Kilowatt on the right, you can only use eight of those. Those are pretty powerful. Uh, the wizards are pretty powerful. I found that the chef didn't seem to be very effective in what he was doing. I don't know. Maybe sometimes they weren't facing the right direction. But here we go. This is towards the end here. And I just got to where I had a bunch of the other ones upgraded, ready to go. They were destroying all of the waves. And we started to backfill because here we go with the boss of course sparks comes in and there's cut scenes she talks to you the whole way through uh you can see on the bottom right i'm starting to max out the upgrading on some of these now as the the enemy the boss is moving further back go towards the front and sell anything 
that is not killing it anything that is out of range of the enemy just go and sell it so you've got more money to upgrade the things that are further down the line and now you can see after you defeat the boss sparks kill a walk will what will pop up and she'll say congratulations and then you've done it and on the bottom right you can see right there you've got the badge for this hey guys i'm going to show you how to get spark secret package here in the game arcade islands 2 so as soon as you start out you can see that there's arrows that point you to the inside of the arcade really really easy to see those arrows obviously you come in here and this can tell you right away they took my crate and put it in the pride shop can you believe it how rude so you gotta win a thousand tickets before you can get the crate or give it back so there's tons of games in here a bunch of different ones now this one right here this little wheel this bass wheel spin wheel i would recommend just keep doing this one it is seven chips you already start out with plenty of chips you need to play the game uh and you can just kind of keep going playing the game you can get more uh if you need to but you shouldn't need to i would recommend just keep doing this one spin so you gotta uh use the chips and then just keep pushing on the handle keep pushing on it keep pushing on it and you know you might get lucky and it lands on 1000 right away you might get lucky and it lands on high numbers right away but uh other games here of course you can play and i i just recommend keep doing this one because you get more tickets on this one it's probably the quickest way and that was even the quickest way recommended by the developer of this game looks pretty cool kind of reminds me of an actual arcade so you can walk around and play all these different arcade games get tickets earn tickets you can trade them for things obviously inside the game as well and you can see on the bottom it's got a little progress meter 852 out of a thousand and each time you spin it it's going to add more so uh the little spin wheel here takes a little bit of time before it gets to you uh i mean finished up with its spinning so you're just gonna kind of have to wait a little bit it might take about 15 minutes to get this done but when you're finally done you can see i've spun uh i have 960 i spun a 40 and it takes a little bit before it actually starts counting it but once it does you can see it says you got it back thanks so much in fact you can keep it see you around in the metaverse and on the bottom right you can see that you've got the badge for this Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Sparks Kilowatt Secret Package in the game Azure Mines. So after you go through an initial uh, training tutorial thing, we're going to go here to the teleporter array. Now from the teleporter, we're going to go over here. This is the main mining area. Now in the back on the left, you can see we've got our good friend Sparks Kilowatt. You go and have a conversation with her. You got to make sure that you highlight her and then click on her. She says right here, find a rare amethyst or five ruby ores. So the amethyst, you find one of those, it's purple, or the ruby, you find uh, five of those, those are red. So if you get a purple one, good job. Those are rare to find. And if you get that, just get that one, bring it back to her, then you're good to go. But uh, for the rubies, I'd recommend just dig straight down at first because we're just gonna dig straight down uh, to, you can see up at the top, it says, how many meters below surface. So we want to go to at least 65 meters below the surface. And about there is where we're going to start to see rubies. Now rubies are going to be more common than the amethyst for sure. And at some point you're also going to have a full inventory and you're going to have to resurface. We're going to show you what happens, but uh, right there, right there, we got a red one. We've got a Ruby. As soon as we got here to 65, 66 meters below the surface, we ran right into a Ruby. Now those take a little bit more time to dig out, but but it's not too long so there we go we've got one ruby so far out of the five total that we are searching for so we're just going to kind of go level now that we're at 65 or 66 meters below because around this area you should be able to find a lot of them but it says inventory is full i have to go and empty it at my base so on the bottom left it shows what you need to do to resurface i've got a game pad so it says press the y button and then in that area this thing right here you can go and empty your inventory uh, i'm gonna get rid of everything except for the ruby so i'm gonna get rid of 100 percent of all the other stuff but i'm gonna keep the ruby in my inventory so now we're gonna just head on back over to the mining area and we're gonna try to mine out some more of that ruby so i've still got this hole that i started earlier we're just gonna drop right in there and it's gonna take us down to the level that we're looking for so we're just gonna keep on looking for the ruby or amethyst i mean if we get lucky enough and we find ourselves the uh the purple one we just get that one go straight up to the top and we're good to go but ruby there we go ruby number two we've got over here and they're not too hard to find you just keep going see there's one right over here just around the corner from where that uh second one was so at this point you can see on the bottom right it shows how many rubies we've got we've got three and here we go with the fourth one that we've just found so yeah this area just around this area 64 65 meters below the surface it is a good place 
to look for the rubies. So we're still just looking for one more. We've got four out of five rubies at this point, and we're gonna find that last one. Or again, if we can find an amethyst, a purple one, we just need one of those. But again, those ones are super rare. So if you find one of those, good job. Here we go, we found a fifth ruby. So there we go. Now that we've got five rubies, we're just gonna go back up to the surface. I'm going to uh, this little thing here and gonna get rid of some of the other stuff that I don't need. It's gonna keep my five rubies and we're gonna head back across to Sparks, back where she was in the beginning. And we're gonna talk to her again one more time. And now that we've got all five of the rubies, we can click on redeem and it says mission complete. And you can see on the bottom right that we've got ourselves that. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to get Sparks Kilowatt secret package in the game Banana Eat. So in the lobby, you can talk to her. She basically tells you that you need to collect seven of her shards. So you can go to any of the maps, really. Uh, all of these maps are gonna show you what you what you need and you're gonna be able to find all the pieces that you need. So you wait, you load into it. Hopefully you're not the banana. If you're the banana, you can't complete the mission, but see these pink bananas around the map you can find them all over the place they're not really that difficult to find uh you might not find them all in the same room or anything but you might find quite a few of them in one room uh but they're not really too difficult you can see on the left side there's a picture of sparks kilowatt right there and there's a countdown as you grab one you can see it counts up so we've got four of these already see how many of them are just like right here in this whole area so you can also grab the pieces of pie put those where they need to go and put those uh put all the little pieces in the areas that they need to be put in order to make the clock go down faster there's puzzle pieces at the top as you can see and there's different things that you can do it's kind of like a piggy game so you want to escape the banana but basically it's nice if you've got a friend who can play along with you and uh the banana that's not attacking uh if you're at, in a server with a whole bunch of people you may be competing for all of these bananas Bananas, so that might be problematic but as you can see I've got seven of them and now I can't collect an eighth one so uh, there's a lot more than seven of them in the whole map so if you can if if you know there's a bunch of people there hopefully once they've got seven they're not fighting you for other shards and shard pieces so now you're just watching the clock and we're gonna speed this whole thing up you want it to get down to one minute because after one minute then the doors will open and you'll be able to escape. So we've got a door open over here. And now when that opens up, you can escape because you have to get these and you have to survive as well. So after you do that, uh, go to the lobby again and then go and find Sparks. It says right there, see Sparks for your reward. And she's up here and right next to her after you get it, you can see you've got the secret package right there and you've got the badge on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Sparks secret package here in the game Bigfoot. So you see in the right, upper right here, it says deal uh, 300 damage to Bigfoot to unlock Sparks Kilowatts package. So uh, in the game, you have to get at least two people. You have to ready up and it's going to count down and it's going to start a game. So this is a sort of game where one person gets chosen as Bigfoot. One person gets chosen as a hunter. Now, if you're Bigfoot, it says right there, kill five hunters to unlock Sparks Kilowatts badge. So uh, it, as Bigfoot, you can also complete the mission that way. You can run around as Bigfoot, you can get enough people on the server, and you get Bigfoot for enough rounds, you kill at least five of the hunters, and you can get the badge that way. So that is one way that you can get it. Now, the secondary way that you can get it is you can get it when you're a hunter. So when you are a hunter, there is this one thing that you've got the Bigfoot tracker. So if you've got that, then, uh, I mean, it's of course easier if you've got people in the server working with you, and you guys are working together, and if you are working with a big team of people that are hunters in there you might not be able to get to Bigfoot before the other people or if you do you might not be able to get the person who uh, gets all the damage on them but anyways uh, if you've got the tracker on you can start seeing that the Bigfoot image is going to pop up but if you are the person who does a hundred percent of the damage like even the first time that's not going to do uh, enough to complete to get the badge. You're going to have to kill them at least twice. So you're gonna have to play at least a minimum of two rounds in order to do this one, at least the way it is right now. Who knows, they could end up nerfing it there in the future, but uh, I've gone through this one and I've dealt all of the damage to Bigfoot for that round. So I've only got 78.33%. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna do a second round. And then of course, if we've got our tracker on, you can see right there that the Bigfoot starts flashing and the more often it flashes it means that you are getting closer and closer to the Bigfoot so 
Uh, also, if you're working with friends, it definitely helps if you got people jumping around. Motion kind of helps you kind of find people or if you can find a place to meet like a campground. So uh, once you get up there, you got to shoot him. And after you get the 100%, you can see on the bottom right, we've got the badge there for the mission. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Sparks Kilowatt secret package in the game Clicker Realm. So as soon as you start it, you can see right here, we've got a splash screen and it says you've got to help AJ out. So this one's got AJ, but it also has Sparks in this one. Seems like we're sporting AJ. Sparks is the bad guy. So when you start out, you got to talk to AJ over here. He's just going to give you a little spiel about the metaverse is crumbling. It's destroying. I need all of my crates. You need help. Sparks Kilowatt is ruining things. Uh, so just getting into the storyline and what you need to do over here telling you that you have missions and that you have to do each mission before it's too late uh it's not timed or anything so you don't really have a time thing going on so on the left side right here with the uh, on the very top image with that magnifying glass above the clickers shows here all the different missions you have to do you have to play for five minutes hatch 10 eggs rebirth 15 times get 100 gems and get a hundred thousand clicks now uh it sounds easy doesn't it sounds super easy but uh clicking as far as clicking you just click on that little thing on the bottom in the middle and as you click on that you get one click now the idea of doing this a hundred thousand times sounds pretty daunting if you ask me but uh you uh you want to help get some help from some of your pets so uh first things first we're just going to be clicking this is a very very simple simulator game nothing new here nothing inventive nothing creative it's just you you just click you, you just click so uh you want to also one of these missions is going to be hatching eggs and if you hatch the common egg and you get some pets to help you the clicking definitely goes a lot faster so at this point we're uh we're just kind of working through the clicking getting some of these clicks in trying to get what we need uh we're also going to have to do some rebirths as a part of this whole thing uh gonna make my auto clicker go away there make it a little bit faster sometimes that helps so this little thing right here uh, the circle with the arrow, this is the rebirth uh, sign. So you click on that, you can get rebirths, and they cost a different amount each time. And I think the more rebirths you have, like the more they end up costing. But you can see I just spent all of my clicks right there on that rebirth. So uh, I think it's making it so I click a little bit more. Now I can get plus two with each click instead of plus one. So it looks like it's doubled the amount of clicks that I can get. So I can get clicks a little bit faster. So we're just gonna fast forward a little bit through this part where I do a little bit of clicking, try to get some more rebirths. We got another rebirth right there, but the best way to do it is to try to get enough to buy several rebirths. Cause you see, I've only got two rebirths over there. So best way to do it is go find the eggs guys. What I'd recommend, first things first, just go in, get enough clicks, get the eggs hatched first. Uh, you need to hatch 10 of them as a part of the mission, and you need to hatch five of them in order to get a full inventory of pets. So uh, five pets is all you're going to need to get a full inventory, and then you'll be able to click a lot faster once you've got the five pets. So as you can see, we've clicked the pets over there. We're going to click over here on this little paw image right here now we're gonna equip these we've got three so you can see on the bottom it says one out of five two out of five now three out of five so we can equip five of them but you can see as i'm clicking i'm getting a lot more clicks per click it's 31.5 clicks now instead of the normal what i had two clicks last time we looked at it so we're definitely improving doing a lot better but we want to get more of these pets because we can hold five so we might as well max out and try to hold as many of the pets as we can the good pets of course are better if you get lucky and you get some really good like legendary or rare pets that's going to be the best for you but we're going to equip these two cats that we have right now so now we've got five pets equipped and at this point uh, we can click and the clicking will happen a lot faster so it should be easier now to get enough to get the rebirths that we, we want you can also go and open some more of the eggs we do need to hatch at least 10 of them so it doesn't hurt to go through hatch 10 and then use your five strongest pets so right there we got 10 more rebirths so we've got 12 rebirths at this point all we have to do now is collect three more rebirths because we've got 12 out of 15 we've hatched five out of 10 eggs we're getting closer there to those goals that we need to get done we've got some of these quests so now we just need to hatch five more eggs and we have to get about 70,000 more clicks so more eggs and more clicks so we're going to come over here. We're going to hatch five more of these eggs. We're going to speed it up just a little bit here, of course. And now that we've hatched those eggs, we might as well go in and check the stats for each of our, our pets. 
and use the, the pets that give us the highest stats and the highest rate. So now each click is worth 288. So now I'm gonna spend some time just sitting here clicking. I've got everything done as far as the quests go, except for the 100,000 clicks. Now we've got past 100,000 clicks. We've got all five of those missions done. We're gonna go and talk to AJ Striker over here. Now he's saying there's a little bit more that you have to do. You have to go somewhere to combine the boxes. But right now, Sparks Kilowatt is over there, and she's protecting the whole thing. So you have to go in there, and you have to beat her. So there's a little teleporter over here with Sparks Kilowatt. Now, the first time for me, my server was broken. So this game is a little bit buggy, and uh, I had to reset and go into a new server. So you guys will see sort of what I'm doing over here. So she's standing over there. She's not moving. She's not doing anything. You've got a sword there in your gear, so you can see down there on the bottom in the middle uh i thought maybe you had to click on her but i didn't see the sword there initially so you have a sword to battle against her there on the bottom now uh this one right here she's just standing there she's not doing anything uh but you can see her her regular life above her head is actually going down but i killed her and it didn't even do anything you see on the top it still says sparks kilowatt and her life is still green even though she actually died in my server it still won't let me open this uh this crate that's in the same area says that i still have a boss fight that i have to do so the fact that this server is broken i killed her but it says on the top that she's not dead none of her life actually went away what i'm going to do here is i am going to uh reset uh but actually you know i do have to get 250,000 clicks in order to open aj's crate later on so might as well go in if you want to get more pets do that but you're gonna to have to click all the way to 250,000 clicks yeah so that quest with 100,000 clicks that was that was nothing we just got to get another 150,000 so here we go we got 250,000 but even though I have the right amount it says it's unsafe to open because start sparks kilowatt is ne nearby but she is not nearby over here i have killed her she is broken into several pieces and as you can see right there so devs if you're paying attention you got you got a buggy game guys you, you got a buggy game you probably should have probably should have qa tested it anyways i reset the server i left the server came and joined another server fortunately my stuff saved came in here now sparks is actually moving around and she's actually trying to battle me but if you sit there under her and you just kind of swing your sword like that then you're not going to do enough damage to her compared to the amount of damage that she's doing to you that's not the way to do it so uh if you do this you are going to die so you're going to have to actually battle against her and you're going to have to beat her in uh one attempt because right here you can see uh I, i'm gonna die after spinning around i see that it takes more life quicker but i died i came back and i came back in here and her life is fully restored so you have to beat her basically in one round uh and if you die you have to come back and start all over so what i recommend is keep using a sword uh keep clicking with your sword and as you're there near her feet spin around because as you spin the sword does more damage to her so you can see her life has gone down and it says oh my you actually did it then it just teleports you over here to the main area again where aj striker is then you go and you talk to him one more time and he says okay well that area is safe go open my crate and then I will give you your reward. So now that you've got 250,000 clicks, you can come over here, you open the crate, and you can see on the bottom right here that you've got the badge. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to get Sparks Kilowatt secret package in Egg Hunt Enchanted Egos. So you click play, and then it says, would you like to help her? So you wanna click on sure, of course, then it's gonna teleport you to this area, Hatco Bunker. So it is uh, mostly an obby area, and you have to make your way to the end. It's gonna take about, maybe about 15, minutes to get through the whole obby and uh, you may want to turn the sound up when you're doing it because uh, there's some of the stuff that uh, there's no context unless you're listening to the sound there's basically a AI that is talking to you the whole time and then you pick up some other AI uh, as a part of the mission and you just keep going through anyways just follow what I'm doing in the direction that I take here in this video but as you can see right here there's certain points where I'm just stopping and waiting but that's when you hear the context from the person doing the voiceover like right here you're supposed to be waiting for an elevator but you can't actually move 
just yet, but you'll figure that, that out when you're actually doing the mission by yourself. Then you have to jump down a little bit, lose a little bit of life, but you do have j double jump abilities, okay? So you do have the ability to double jump, and there's a lot of areas where you don't want to fall down below, otherwise you will die, but they will be sure to let you know about those times. But right here in the corner, you're going to meet another one of these AIs after you listen to the one that's talking to you. There's one over there in the corner. Kind of reminds me of 343 Guilty Spark from Halo. Anyway, it's a pretty fun mission. Uh, again, it's going to take you about 15 minutes. We're speeding through this a little bit, so this is a little bit faster than normal time, but just keep following the directions. This guy is going to open some doors for you, and you're going to have to keep going through those doors, and just, yeah, just watch and follow where I go. Pink Valkyrie? Really? They got, they got a pink Valkyrie in their game? Bruh. 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 There is no pink Valkyrie. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyways. I just had to uh, point that out. The fact that they did a pink Valkyrie. Watch out for things that are smashing you in these different areas. Watch out for the uh, the air. There's the, the stuff coming out of the vents. There's that, that heat or the exhaust or whatever. Uh, watch out for all of that stuff. Watch out for the lasers. Watch out for things that are smashing down on you. And again, listen to the audio so you have a context with regards to what is actually going on in the story.
All right, so in this final part, you can see there's this one last corrupted artificial intelligence that you have to go and put down here in the power core to make the teleporter completely corrupted. Of course, you guys understand that because you were listening to what they were saying, right? You had your audio on. Anyways, uh, once you do that, you will be teleported to this final stretch and in this final stretch you will go here to the end and you will see sparks secret package right there you grab that and then there's a little bit more audio she talks to you tells you congratulations blah 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 all that stuff but you have to listen to that don't leave the game just yet you have to listen to that and then you're going to see on the bottom right that you're going to get yourself the badge and then it is going to teleport you right back into the normal game Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Ren's treasure chest in the game Obby King Remastered. So it says right here, just work to get this. So <laughs> the arrows in the very beginning just show you where to go. It's pretty simple and uh, just a little bit of Obby work to do here. So uh, you're going to talk to Ren. I'm going to skip through all the long-windedness that Ren goes through because Ren talks for a long time and talks slow. But after you talk to Ren at first, shows you these different colors, green, blue, pink, red, yellow, and four out of five are in the, uh, in the hub right there and then the last one right there is in the practiced obby so we're going to show you just one to one just watch where i go from here and if you are playing along uh it feels like you're walking pretty slow i i totally agree it does feel like the character is walking pretty slow uh but i'm just gonna leave this one to one i wasn't gonna i'm not gonna speed up or double the time on this video just so that as as you guys are playing along you can just walk along and follow the path that i'm taking so the first one up here we're gonna take is the uh, the pink one so we're gonna just climb up here a little bit of obby work to get to the top but it's not really too difficult and as soon as you get up there you can see that we've got the pink one okay so the pink one's right there and then from here we actually have a pretty good view of the rest of the map we're looking for a red area for where the red one is and you can see it's wet back there so we're gonna head back there we're gonna get the red one and then after the red you'll see we're gonna get the blue and then we're gonna get the green now just look at all of the surroundings around where I am where I get all these things and then uh, you shouldn't have a hard time getting all of these and uh, I'll come back and let you know uh, anything else I need to uh, talk to you guys about in this process
Okay, so we've got all the ones in the obby at this point. Now we're just going to go to this practice obby. So we have to teleport to this different area for the practice obby. It's really, really quite simple. So uh, we'll show you. We just follow what we do in here and uh, get the yellow one and then go back. And then we're going to repair the teleporter for Ren. Okay, you can see we got five out of five shards on the left. Now, when we talk to Ren, of course, there's going to be two cutscenes here. We're going to go through the teleporter. There's going to be, it's because there's going to be one before, one after. Basically, we've gone through the teleporter and we're here off to the obby. This is just a, this is an obby. It's fairly long. It's not too difficult. There's some parts that are a little bit challenging, but just watch what I do and kind of follow along again. And at the end of the obby, we'll be back to show you when we get Ren's treasure chest. This part right here is pretty simple. You're supposed to find three numbers throughout the room. The first number right here you can see is a two. Second number right up there hidden is an eight. And the other number is right here is a five. So 285 is the code. And I think that's the same code for everybody. So I think you guys can just go in there and type in 285 to get access to the next area. Okay, so this last part here, you just got to wait for these things to teleport over to you. I recommend uh, wait until they start turning because you don't move on them. You, you, you move, they move, and you have to move with them. Just standing on it doesn't make sure that you move with it. So the, for that one, make sure, wait till it turns the other direction. And then at the end here of the obby, you can see that you've got Ren's chest. And as soon as you touch that, you can see that Ren's going to talk again. And you've got the badge there on the bottom right. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Ren's treasure chest in the game, The Piggy Sun. So this is like Piggy, but with the Simpsons theme is basically what the game is. So you need at least two people 
in a server to make this work you guys can do this in a vip server or you guys can go and do it in a public server but basically if you end up being piggy who is homer you won't be the person who wins you got to be one of the survivors so you want to do chapter one you can see how it's outlined and it has champions right there in the map voting so hopefully everybody in the map is going to be voting for champions and trying to get this so this is fairly simple this is not like a really really difficult sort of uh piggy type of game uh you can see right there it says select player there for the champions so the mode that you want to do is obviously the player mode so it's going to do a countdown just like any other player game and uh it's going to randomly select somebody of the two people or the people in the server and one of those people is going to be the piggy so after a cutscene, then the piggy is going to be chosen. You've got 10 minutes to bust out of here. So the one room up here that you can get into, so far I've got a plank. I don't think that the objects are gonna be in different spots for you. They should be in the same spots and I'm gonna just show you how to bust out of here. That front door you can't get out yet. So I didn't need that plank just yet. We need to get outside first uh so we've got this green key here on this windowsill that is across from right where you walk in so once you've got the green key you can go upstairs that opens the door most doors give you another key then you've got the next color key over here and uh so this is the red key which is downstairs we're gonna make sure we find that and just remember the colors upstairs we've got like pink and orange and we've got a teal we've got a brown downstairs and then over here we're gonna find the red key which is uh over there and we've got the teal key and we've got the hammer in there as well we're gonna need the hammer for two things actually so not just one thing we're gonna use use it for two things but uh this key that we've got up here the teal one opens this door this here we have a wrench so we're gonna go downstairs and the wrench is actually gonna be for part of this and it doesn't seem to be working just yet it looks like i need to use the hammer first so i'm gonna use the hammer and get rid of that now i'm gonna use the wrench and it seems to actually let me use the wrench now just to open that green part so now we just need one more key to get that open and uh the the hammer that's something that you're gonna need to open the back door and then through the back door that's where you get to use the plank so we're gonna grab that hammer real quick then we want to go to the back door because we want to open that and then we're gonna want to go and get that plank wherever we left that or if it's upstairs still make sure you check the room upstairs now we're gonna put that plank there now that gives us access to the treehouse but the treehouse is locked so we got to get this key that's outside the yellow key uh we need the black key in order to get to the treehouse upstairs so we're going to use this yellow or orange key we're going to use that that's going to give us the brown key and the brown key is just downstairs and around this corner go in there that gives you the pink key go back upstairs open the pink door go in here come around the corner and this gives you the black key and the black key of course is the key that we use to get the uh inside the treehouse outside so we're going to go in there we're going to go up to the top we're going to open that we're going to grab that case make sure you grab ren's the treasure chest right there and grab the key now when you go inside all you have to do is open this door and then you've escaped and you can see on the bottom right that you've got yourself the badge and that you've completed this mission thank you for watching guys if you'd like to support please use code DeeterPlay when buying robux and also make sure you subscribe and you've got the notification bell on not only for the launchers because i've got launchers for all of these launch boxes but also future news events and free items that hit the catalog on roblox so thank you for watching and we'll talk to you guys later hey guys i'm going to show you how to get red's treasure chest in the game Roblox planes three so if you click on the little treasure chest there on the left side it tells you what you need to know sort of it says there's a hidden waterfall on an island indicated on the map and it also gives you a little information that indicates an order that you need to uh touch the gems and uh but don't worry about it we're gonna give you the order right here now i'm not sure uh which one of these planes is the fastest you got to stand on that little green spot to spawn the plane you can see back there in in the uh in the garage or the hangar so uh uh, in order to get on the plane just hop on it and then you got to stand on where the pilot zone is and then it will have you inside of the plane you can see it says q left e right but down on the bottom left hand corner of the screen you can see there is a throttle over there there's something with landing gear and so uh just throttle up so s would make you go up w points your nose down and that makes you go up and down s and w you can also barrel roll with a and d and again like or well letting you guys know that like you're gonna spend most of your time just doing this flight thing so as soon as you go up in the air though you can see there's a green dot 
bunch of different islands, but the one with the green dot, that's what you want to head towards. So on the left side, you want to try to make yourself go as fast as possible. Just crank up the speed on your throttle over there. And then again, just make sure you're heading towards the green island. You might be able to sort of uh, leave it alone, but you may be drifting off a little bit to one side or the other. So if you guys start drifting off to one side or the other, uh, just uh, make sure you are good to go. So this, I'm actually speeding it up quite a bit here. This is like 10 times the speed actually. So it may have seemed slow, but it's even slower. Uh, this plane only goes about 100 miles per hour. There might be some faster planes in there that you guys can get. Uh, the Cessna, definitely not a good one, but if you know planes, then there you go. But when you start coming in on approach, you wanna go lower, and on the left side, lower your throttle quite a bit. You wanna make sure your landing gear is out, and then once you hit the island, lower your throttle all the way, and then get out of your plane. You don't wanna crash, basically. You want to survive this thing. So once you do successfully land here on this island, you climb up to the top here, and this is Ren Bright Blades, I don't know, forest. Um, so you can zoom out. So we're going to go to the bridge in the middle, and look, if you zoom out, there's all these little empty camping spots and each of those spots has a gem that is of a certain color so we're basically going to start from the bottom left and go to the bottom left get that yellow one and then work our way on the bottom to the right the second one that we're going to get here is this red one right there so there's gold there's ruby and then there's this one right here this gem this pink gem and it's all indicated basically by the initial uh on the left there's that uh that thing that tells you what you need to do and where you need to go there's something in that sentence that indicates what you're supposed to do so next one is blue so we're going to do the uh the yellow one the red one the pink one the blue one and now the green one now after you touch these in that order you got to make sure that you touch these crystals in that order then behind the waterfall over here there is a door that has opened up and then again like this is going to take you maybe 10 or 11 minutes but most of that time is spent flying in the plane to the island so once you get over here you go and you touch the chest and you can see on the bottom right you've got the bag hey guys i'm going to show you how to get ren's treasure chest in the game road to granby so this one is a bit of a pain um you can't get out of the first person view you have to be in first person all the time so i recommend you're going to start out in the garage get in your car uh you're going to want to make sure you have enough gas in your car as well otherwise you might be in trouble at some point and have to do some walking so uh first kind of drive around the outside of the map it's hard to really pinpoint or show a map of what's going on but i just keep driving around here until you see a road that leads up and goes right up on a hill so it's it's sort of like on the outskirts of the town and then you're going to find a road that goes up a hill that heads out it's really easy to see once you actually come across it uh but then uh this is what it looks like right here so you can see it heads outside of town and it goes over a hill and uh you can tell this is definitely the outskirts of the town so uh some of that time might be spent just driving around trying to find this particular spot uh and hopefully you don't run out of gas like we do part way through also there's the option you can press f and you can see a list of people who are in the server you see like the the picture of Gamby, and then uh, you can try to follow people to locations where they are and teleport to them. So uh, if your friend is over by this temple that you need to get to, then you can just teleport to them and you don't have to go through all of this. Uh, so this road here is actually a little bit long. We're going to, uh, pretty soon here, we're running out of gas. So we're gonna walk, but I am going to just speed it up 10 times speed just to show you where to go. So we're just gonna keep following our way down this road and uh it is a little bit of a lengthy walk and a lengthy drive either way but you can see down there a little further down the road there is a temple now in front of the temple sometimes there's turrets and you might have to get some weapons and try to deal with the turrets i recommend uh just go around the back side of the temple drop in the front and just go inside there were some turrets out there, but they didn't really cause any problems for me. I wasn't really getting uh, getting shot at. I mean, I was getting shot in my direction, but the turrets weren't really enough to kill me or stop me from going further. So, uh, 
yeah also maybe if there's other people there's more targets but anyways i was able to just go right inside here so uh, you want to go inside of this temple now the physics are really weird it's not like any other roblox game it's just kind of uh like low gravity kind of like a ragdoll sort of uh game it's just really really difficult physics so doing this whole thing is going to be a little bit of a challenge here for you so uh of course this first part here you can see these hammers that are hammering out you want to avoid those guys at all costs so you're just going to want to make sure that you time it to where when that goes in you jump and again the physics are a little floaty so it may take you a few times to make this work uh for me i've got a game card and a game controller and it's kind of making everything kind of drift left and right for me so wouldn't recommend using a game controller for this one so jump across over here so now at this point i didn't really know what to do i was like what do i do these eyes look like demons am i gonna die if i go down there but you do actually want to go down there but there's kind of like a trick direction uh you don't want to go towards the path there's a sign that's going to block you you actually want to go down there and turn backwards now this part of the video is going to get pretty choppy shout out to silent for helping me get this part of the video grab these pieces of glass and you want to build stairs to go up to the top so this part's a little choppy but uh yeah once you start grabbing the glass also the lava is going to start rising so you're doing a little bit of a flood escape situation so you jump to the next one grab the previous glass build the next step grab the previous one build the next step and just keep doing that uh, you just need two pieces of glass in order to do this one for your next step and then one from your previous step that you have to grab and use for your next step so your goal at this point is to just climb to the top if you turn around and you went the other day other way and tried to go around that sign that did not work out for you i'm pretty sure i tried that once and it did not work out for me either so uh yeah once you do this you want to just kind of keep going and the lava is not going too fast it, you can still kind of pace yourself as you're climbing to the top but there's still a lot of steps that you've got to make and uh and try to get yourself to the top here so uh just putting down a few more of these steps here thanks again shout out to our friend silent sorry for the choppiness of the video but you guys get the vague uh the basic idea of what's going on here uh the the glasses you can put those on top of where those little dots are and at the top you will find that there's a treasure chest and if you get that you will get the badge hey guys we're going to show you how to get ren's treasure chest in the game undead defense tycoon so as soon as you start it says collect 100 eggs from the zombies so i played this game before so i already had a wall and some things just like any other tycoon you go through uh you get money automatically and as you get money you build walls and you can also get some better guns like the SMG and the AK it doesn't really take a whole lot of effort to do that but you do have a pistol to start out with so uh, these zombies will come after you and the ones that are worth eggs you can see will have a head with an egg and most of them will actually be with eggs uh, you're gonna see some zombies that don't have eggs now they're worth different amounts the one that I just shot worth one egg but this one right here this purple egg these ones are the money ones these are the ones that you want to go for because these ones are worth quite a bit. So uh, they take quite a few shots before they actually go down, but they are worth it because as you can see here, when I kill this one, uh, you can see down in the total, it went up to 16. So that was worth 15 eggs for that one. So there's blue ones that are worth, uh, I believe five or 10. There's yellow ones that are worth like two or three. And then there's the white eggs, which are just worth one. So you're gonna keep going through and uh, killing zombies. Now, if they kill you, uh, you're just going to reset, reboot, respawn. It's okay. It's no big deal. You just want to keep on going through and you want to keep on killing the zombies. Um, so they're going to keep coming at you like crazy. Uh, I recommend use your shift button because run is helpful. And if you see any of the purple ones, try to go for them. Um, I've found that trying to avoid zombies, like running around them, doesn't really work because after you run, you get tired. And uh, after you lose all your energy and you get really tired, then you can't run any faster and they're going to keep coming after you and they're pretty fast so uh after you go through you can see 97 98 99 and after you finish off your very last zombie for 100 it will go down there on the bottom right and you can see you've also got the badge right there as well hey guys i'm going to show you how to get ren's treasure chest in the game arcade empire so when you go in this game it's going to teach you a, a couple it's going to bring you through a tutorial basically uh you need to put down arcade games and you need to get, get customers to come into your place and play arcade games and when they play arcade games you get money and then you use the money to buy more arcade games and then you get more money 
And uh, that's sort of how it goes. Uh, on the left side, you can see there's Ren's treasure chest. If you click on that, it takes you over to Ren. And Ren says basically you have to use this emerald chest and you have to put the mystery box in your arcade and it's a decoy mystery box and it's going to get emerald demons to come to your arcade and you need to use a decoy box in order to attract at least 10 of those emerald demons in order to do this so uh in order to get the mystery box it's 500 bucks in the game you can use robux like 49 robux to buy some money inside the game or you can just teleport to your arcade and arcades after they're used you can go and you can click on them and you can get the money out of them and then customers that are npcs will basically come in every now and then and they will play your games and they will leave money in your games so uh, make sure you take all of the arcade games that you have and put them up here uh, inside of your arcade. Uh, it helps you can get money faster if you decide to buy more arcades as well. So you can go to the store, you can buy floors, you can see on the bottom right there's things where you can buy different stuff, arcades. Arcade games cost a little bit of money so you gotta find that trade off where you have enough arcade games and enough money. But after you have enough money, basically just go talk to Ren and buy this decoy chest. And then uh, after you buy the decoy chest, I'm not sure if it helps to have more than one, but I figured what the heck, why not? Uh, let's just get three of them. Uh, so you want to go back to your arcade. You can see on the left side, you can teleport to your arcade. So once you do that, uh, not over here in games, uh, it didn't pop up in there. It looks like it's here in decor on the bottom so it's not in games it's not actually a game it's decor so you grab that and you put that in there so once you put one of these at least inside of your arcade then you're going to start attracting a certain type of customer that likes a certain type of game i guess or they'd like to play games in an area with green treasure chests. anyways these green guys right here those, that's what you're going for. Those are the Emerald Demons. So as one of those walks in and starts playing your games, you can see on the left side, it says 2 out of 10. It's going to keep counting up, and you just want to keep going until you end up getting 10 of those guys. They will just show up randomly. You'll also have normal... Uh, customers that are going to come to your arcade as well every now and then you're going to have to go around the room and put some maintenance on your arcade you can see they stink or they look like money or they look like there's sparks flying out if they need maintenance or if they need to be cleaned or if you need to collect the money so uh, after that you can see right here now we've got nine out of ten now we've got our tenth customer in here and it looks like we've completed that you can see on the bottom right we've already got the badge right there that badge has shown up but if you click on this and you go to Ren and talk to him uh, uh, you can also see right there that you've got that complete. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Ren's treasure chest in the game, Broken Ragdolls. So in the beginning, it says right here, participate in one of the events, get first, second, or third place to win Ren's challenge. So a lot of this is going to be just waiting around for something to happen. This game, uh, you're just in this lobby sort of area where you can kind of die, but you want to wait for an event to start and it's going to pop up right there where above or below where it says level one, like it did right there, Metaverse Ren's event. So you want to click on join, then there's going to be another wait until that actually starts and then it's going to start and you want to get first second or third place in this race so uh, when it does start you just get going and try to get going forward and be ahead of at least most of the other players you want to get first second or third if you get fourth place or after that then you're not going to get it you're going to have to try again and wait uh, but yeah you're going to spend most of the time I think it took me about three minutes waiting in the server before the event actually popped up so come over here cross the end point and hit that finish line then it's going to teleport you and then you can see on the bottom right that you've got that badge hey guys I'm going to show you how to get Ren's treasure chest in the game welcome to farm town now if this is your first time playing the game this is going to take a while because you have to go through this whole tutorial process and you have to learn how to uh, earn money and how to build a house and you have to build a house so basically when you start out gonna go through the tutorial it's gonna show you how to grow some things how to get the the dirt ready so that you can plant stuff but it says dogs are finally here in this new update so shows a picture of the mailbox right there so uh, at this point we've gone through just the basic thing we've gone through some seeds we haven't built a house yet we're gonna go through that but first we're gonna go to our mailbox 
Okay, and inside the mailbox here, you're gonna see there's some items. There's a dog bed, there is dog food, there's a dog pet bowl. You just wanna take all, grab all those things. Now, you wanna put this down, but you're not able to put it down because it's not gonna let you because you haven't gone through the whole tutorial and everything. It's gonna say you gotta go through the tutorial. So you have to harvest some of these plants. You have to uh, basically go and reap them. And Jeb is gonna talk to you about some stuff. You're going to show you right here what you have to do with this machine. You're supposed to basically take all of that stuff that you harvested and you're supposed to put it on one side of the conveyor belt uh, over there. And then on the other side, you will get a crate. So now you're supposed to put the crate in the back of the truck and then drive the truck over to a place over here, the farmer's shipping yard over here. And now you can take this out of your truck. You can put it on the next conveyor belt and that is how you earn money for this whole thing. So uh, now that you've got a certain amount of money, it's gonna try to go you teach you how to do uh, building. So it's gonna first have you buy some carrot seeds here. You're gonna have to plant some carrot seeds and then afterwards you're gonna have to do some building. But that place right there, that store, that's where you're gonna buy a lot of nails. So you're probably going to want to make, I, th I think just one run will actually get you enough of what you need to build a house that's big enough to be able to put a dog house down. But for the first part, you're going to have to go and get some stones. You're going to have to go and uh, mine some of those and then put the building supplies down. You put the building supplies down and it's going to start building the foundation for you. So uh, you're going to want to go to the hardware store. You're going to want to buy a whole bunch of nails. Now, the first time it says to buy 100, you're going to end up using using like needing a lot more than a hundred uh for different parts of the building process but i think you can get the dog just by building the floor so now uh you're going to chop down trees and around there you're going to pick up the oak wood but the logs for me uh my inventory was full and i don't know where the logs were going i had to kind of clear out some of the stuff down there below in my inventory in order to get the logs to go through this machine here. So this machine, we drop the logs in this and then they will come out as boards. So the basic building blocks, once you've got past the first part for the house with the stones, you're gonna need mostly just boards and nails. Lots of boards, lots of nails. So you're gonna chop down trees, you're gonna go buy nails, you're gonna keep coming here, you're gonna drop all the materials down. Uh, it makes it faster if you do wanna buy coins and I did buy a coin just to make this process go a little bit faster but you put those materials down and it's going to take a little bit of time to start building so uh, i would recommend while you wait for the building maybe go out and get yourself more wood or buy more nails as necessary but make sure you've got room down there in your inventory for all the stuff that you need so once you've got a house that is for the most part built you've got a floor you can actually now put a dog bed down and once you've got the dog bed down you can start to order your dog and you can get your dog to help you with this mission that's what you need basically your mission is to be able to build a house so you can put a dog bed down so you can order a dog and you can have the dog help you find something so uh, as far as the painting and stuff going up here for laying it down uh, you don't really have to go through the painting and choosing the colors and stuff uh, you can just uh, put it down there and click that button on the upper right of that part. So I didn't really know how to put this stuff down right here, but right here, if we press that, we can press that and then press X. And then if we press X, then we've got the furniture placed. Uh, so next thing we're gonna wanna put down for uh, the furniture, actually, uh, before we put the bowl down, what we're gonna do is we're gonna order our dog since we put our food down here. So the little thing that says dog order, you wanna grab that and it looks like uh, when you grab it, it's something that is going to like punch. But what you wanna do is just basically hit the dog bed with that and then a dog will pop up magically out of the blue. So you can pet the dog, you can interact with him. Uh, I would recommend uh, you might wanna put the bowl down in front of him and then you've also got food that came with it. So since you've got a dog, you wanna make sure that he's a happy dog. So, uh, okay, see on the bottom, this red thing, we can put the bowl right there. Now that we've put the bowl down on the floor, uh, we can put food inside the bowl. So take that, drag that there. And if he wants food, he's got food. But what we wanna do now with the dog is we want to command him to follow us. Now, if there's anything glitched, guys, there's all sorts of glitches in this game with the wood and with the dog. You may have to reset and do different things, but uh, he seemed to be working for me right here. You go up to him, you examine him, you click on him and it says, start following. Click on start following and he'll start following you. Now, you just wanna walk around your ranch 
ranch and uh, somewhere around your ranch, he's going to dig up something for you, which is Ren's treasure chest. So we're gonna come out here. Uh, you may wanna just kind of keep walking around and you may see that he's eventually going to find something. Sometimes if you just stand there for a while, he will just kind of find it by himself. So that's what he did in my case. I stood there for a minute and you can see right behind me, it says there is Ren's chest. So we've got Ren's treasure chest behind us. You can go over there and you can just uh, click on it and uh, examine it. Now you can pick that up. At this point, it's in your inventory. So click on it in your inventory. Then after you click on it in your inventory, you will have the bag. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to get Ren's treasure chest in Fab's difficulty chart obby or FDCO. So when you get in there, there's an NPC right there. It says, talk to them and then it says set marker. And when you set the marker, it doesn't really make any true indication or sound for you, but you can see off in the distance over there, there's a cube above uh, what the item is. And there's a little picture there that kind of shows you a little bit more information on that as well. So the first thing we have to do is we have to go through and we have to get to level 10 in the obby. So not very difficult at all. These are very simple matches. So uh, first one, you don't wanna go through the yellow, wanna go through the purple, obviously. So we're just gonna kind of jump through here and we're gonna make it past those first 10. Uh, these are all, it's all pretty simple to do. Once you realize that you don't actually have to go through other levels in the obby, you just have to go to this level right here. So at level 10, you go and you get in there and you touch that thing. So that thing in there, after you touch it, you're gonna hear a little ding sound. So you've got the first out of five of the crystals. So if you go back and teleport to spawn and then just zoom out, you can see there's the yellow one, there's a pink one right there, there's a red one off in the left. So we're gonna just get all of these so we can get access to the area that gives us the treasure chest. So there, we've got the yellow one. Now the pink one is really easy right over there. You go grab that one and then the red one is back there. So we could hop in the water and we could swim over there. The water's not gonna hurt us. You're gonna see that later on as well because there's one that's back there in that little shack in the back. So first we're gonna get the red one. We're gonna come around this corner. We're gonna try to avoid spawning or hopping in any of these vehicles for the time being. We're just trying to get these shards so that we can get access to the gate. So here we go. We've got the red one now. Okay, so we're gonna hear a little ding sound. Now we've got four out of five of them to get into that gate. So uh, right here, I should have just basically taken a right, but we're taking a left, but looking like we're gonna see that we can't actually get in this door on the right just yet. Okay, so now realizing that we've got a blue one back here as well. So apparently there's some boats that you can hop in here. I'm not sure if we're trying to hop in the boats or how to make the boats go. I hopped in the boat and it disappeared. So uh, that didn't really work out for me. So I just jump in the water and jump over to this blue one. It's no big deal. You're not gonna drown. You can swim, you're, you're in good shape. So grab the blue one right there. Now, after you've got that one, just teleport to spawn. And then once you teleport to spawn, uh, from over there, after you've gotten all five of these, you should be able to get through this gate. Okay, so now this basically is a rebuild of the Metaverse hub. Very interesting rebuild of the hub there. I like it. But when you go and you stand in the middle of all the champions, you can see it says congratulations. It says congratulations. Sulations, there's an extra S in there for some reason, but you can see on the bottom right, you got yourself the bag. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to get Ren's treasure chest in the game, Journey to the Sun. So this one's basically an obby, pretty simple, but you see back there that crate in the map, that you don't have to worry about any of the seven flames to the sun or any of that stuff, but see that crate back there, you can see it way back there. You're just gonna have to obby your way to that crate and it's gonna take just a little bit of time, but not too much really, and it's not too hard, but you wanna make sure you first get this flame here so that you get your power so you can actually jump far enough to go through the obby. So uh, if you don't get those powers, then you're probably not gonna be able to jump far enough. And there's a second part here, you see the flames? You see that there's a second set of flames over there uh, straight ahead and you're gonna wanna make sure you pick that up because that one's gonna help you for jumping a little bit higher. So uh, yeah, we were just looking a little bit further out to see where that crate is. And as long as you can see that crate, then you know you are in a server that is updated and uh, you can go and get it. So second flame received. Now I think you can jump a little bit further and a little bit uh, higher. So that's gonna help you to uh, get forward in the obby and just kind of do what I do here in the video 
it's pretty simple you got an extra cutscene right there uh, that you deal with when you come around that corner and it means that you're pretty much close to the uh, the chest Ren's treasure chest now once you get up here you can see it's sitting right there you go up to it and it says click here to claim your bonus reward but on the bottom right you can see that you've already got that badge Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get Ren Bright Blades treasure chest in the game Limited Simulator 2. So it says on the left side, play Metaverse event. Click on that. It's going to take you to a special island. And it says right here, you need to go and talk to Chad. And Chad is going to give you a mission. Uh, you can see Chad over there. Basically, you just follow that arrow. And Chad is over here. You talk to Chad and he needs your help. He needs to find 15 gold crowns throughout the game. But you know you don't really even have to do this there's crowns throughout this whole thing there's one there's two but right here on the upper right it says skip mission you can skip the event so it doesn't take that long just i would recommend just skip it guys just skip it click on that and you can see on the bottom right you've got yourself the badge and then that way you don't have to play through the game if you don't want to i'm going to show you how to get ren bright blades treasure chest in the game monsters of etheria so uh what i'd recommend do rp when you do pvp you're just kind of going up against a lot of people and it's really difficult rp is the way to go so we're going to go with the rp servers and join either way it's going to be very difficult when you sir uh join the server pick explorer so on the left you look at the treasure chest there's these bunnies there's five of them that you have to find basically uh right there at the tree that you spawn at there's this guy you can talk to him he gives you some of the details here uh he needs for you to go and find some of his different versions of his copycat ethereans so there's eggs there's eggs basically scattered and they spawn randomly and sometimes they disappear like you might see one and then it disappears right in front of you so hopefully you'll you won't have one disappear in front of you like i did but there's five of these and they spawn in certain locations uh so the first one we're gonna go to is the one in the desert so uh you if you the, like the map overall is not too big finding the desert isn't too hard uh just zoom out it's kind of over in one of the corners so go to the desert area and in the desert area uh eventually it will spawn with a tornado so you're going to go to the desert area and look for a tornado if it's not there eventually it will spawn some of these seem to take a long time to spawn and they spawn randomly so it's not going to be there at first and then boom you can see right there that tornado appeared out of nowhere so now what you need to do is get to the top of the tornado basically climb or get on top of it but you need to get the egg that's inside of it so we've got one of the eggs right there it's the yellow copycat egg so this is sort of like last year's or the year before i don't know egg hunt but it, it doesn't really show you uh where everything is with the different colors of the wells but we've got the first one so the first one in the desert area checked off the list we don't have to worry about getting that one anymore we need to go back to the main area so the next four that we need let's see one of them is sort of up here uh behind the houses and it's going to spawn in this area just right by the desert go up to the top of these steps right here and then right here you can see the purple one uh we were lucky that that one will spawn right away but in this area is where this one's going to spawn in this garden area so you want to keep looking around there not going to be the same spot every time then down below by the barn there's trees and then in the tree there's going to be a green one so try to see a bright green uh ears in one of the trees and then you can go up to it and you have to basically interact with the tree shake the tree and then get it to fall down and then you will collect that one and that one spawns pretty often now this barn area is where a red one spawns and that one seems to only spawn during the day it took forever before that one actually spawned but we're going to go over to the area where the blue one is supposed to spawn the blue one that we missed in the beginning is supposed to be found in the snow area so we're going to come up over here and we're going to go across the map over to where the snow is so back here okay we're gonna go back up here to the snow area up here so it's called the alchas it's like the appalachias but not quite uh so uh spent a lot of time up here actually at night it didn't seem to spawn uh once it sort of turned daytime just a little bit you can see back there boom it started spawning and we went and collected it right away so this time i actually got it and it didn't disappear right in front of me so we've got four out of five of them now the other one that we need to get is the last one which is the red one which spawns right by that barn or in front of that barn uh that is kind of just outside of the city so we don't want to go to the desert we're going off here to this direction and we're gonna go down a little bit further you can see there's the main town 
right there and then just off on the other side of the main town is where you're going to find right here this barn so right in front of this barn where there's a bunch, a bunch of pumpkins around this area is where it's going to spawn and uh, we're going to show you what happens when it spawns ended up waiting a really really long period of time like 10 or 15 minutes before this one actually ended up spawning but you can see it's up there it starts rolling and uh, oh looks like i missed it so uh this one starts running away this one has a uh, very similar feel of early egg hunts guys very early egg hunts uh, like some of the original ones and then after you get that now you've got all five of the of the copycat eggs and you just have to go and talk to the guy and uh, Talk to him one more time after you do that you can see right there You've unlocked some sort of thing up there, but on the bottom right you can see that you've got the badge Thank you for watching guys and if you'd like to support Please use code Dieter play when buying robux and also make sure you subscribe and you've got the notification bell on not only for the launchers Because I've got launchers for all of these launch boxes But also future news events and free items that hit the catalog on roblox. So thank you for watching and we'll talk to you guys later